Please don't drop him. Please don't drop him. There's an echo. That's what's echoing. Is that what it is? I had to I had to completely redo all of the cameras and such. Mm-hmm. So now the cameras on and board mic should be picking everything up. So it should be okay now. It should be. Brewer okay now. twenty three five. Welcome. How are you doing? What today? genre of music do you want to listen to? Jazz blues. Let's do R and B and soul. R and B and soul. All right. Yeah, hope you guys have a good, great Thanksgiving too. Nice little appetizer for you guys before you What's eat this? a lot and go into your food coma. Oh, I clicked the wrong button. How do I play this? What? Oh, it's what that mean? button right there. There it is. Oh, yeah. You know what time it is? Yes, drinking time. It's business time. It's business time. Herbert, oh. no, <laughs> dirty <laughs> little Herbert. It's a uniform. Forget about Thanksgiving. Everybody. How? Everything <laughs> shut down. You got beers. Doc. He enjoys this one. A close up for you. This is Clown Shoes. Now, Clown Shoes is a ridiculous beer company. They make ridiculous beers. Um, and this one is a pecan pie porter. Yeah, it's my favorite. Uh, I love pecan pie. Me too. And I love porters. This is 8%. Uh, I don't know if it's good or not, but no. do you want to give it a taste? Uh, Cheers. Yeah. Happy pre-Thanksgiving, everybody. Right while you're talking about it, the soothing music. Oh, yeah. Get it all in your mouth. <laughs> Ooh, that's, a little, that's nice. Taste that. Pecan. No! Angry Mexican is not a pecan! It's a pecan. Now, you may, may be asking yourself, why are two grown men sitting real close to get together in the dark listening to this music? Uh, this is OJ's fault. <laughs> but enjoy it. <laughs> Enjoy it. You're welcome. Oh, snap. This is where the rope comes off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How y'all guys doing today, huh? Uh, the graphic wasn't up on that screen, but it's up on this screen. So, I think it should be. I don't know. I've had to redo it so many times today. Yeah, OG wanted to put on portal music. I'm going to change it to something different. Mm. Ooh. Warhead beer. This? No, I have not had Warhead beer. This is also like porno jazz, though. It is. But this is the exposition. What about cocktails? The- we're having a cocktail. Well, no, we're not, but... Someone sweeping? <laughs> That's what it sounds like. Sounds like someone's just sweeping. OJ, any tips on how to cook a pop tart? Rock God. What flavor? That depends on what flavor. If you're gonna sure. use blueberry, what you need to do 
So you want to preheat that in the oven for 355 degrees, five minutes. Then you take it out, put it in the microwave, two minutes, then you're ready. But if it's strawberry, straight microwave. Don't need to preheat that oven? No. You could boil them. Next bad movie. I don't know. Ooh, this one's called. We gotta Bowling. find out when these guys are free. Actually, we've been busy nonstop this week. We like I said, well, just filmed. If you Spider-Man. guys were here earlier, we were filming nonstop today. You know what else we have today? In addition to <gasps> PK nice. and Pie Porter, my one of my other faves. Bitter Dan said he was gonna make those, but then. I realize he's gonna make the other ones. The macaroons. These are macaroons, right? No, these are macaroons. But which one is he making? He's making macaroons. Yeah! <laughs> Alex the friend who's a bit of an asshole. Yeah? These ones are dark chocolate. Amazing. They are expensive. Not when you make them at home. They are cheap. That is why I wanted to learn how to make these. Alex said no. That's not going to be the first thing I teach you how to make. And I said, can you make it through a microwave? He says no. You cannot make it. And I said, challenge accepted. (laughs) Ooh. What about corn dogs? Oh, try it. corn dogs. There's a yeah. There is a song here called "Corn Dogs" <laughs> in Santa Monica. Does this song scream corn dogs to you, Chad? It's worth making it to impress a date. Angry Nick, if you can make. In a microwave, five minutes, bam. You even impressed Alex. <laughs> you would impress the shit out of me if you made these in a microwave. It screams pizza. Yes, Fleet Admiral. This is actually recommended by Doc. So, if you don't like it, scream, well. scream at him, but not too loudly, because he will bait you. Because <laughs> he has the power. Are we going to do reaction to Cyberpunk gameplay? Yeah, after we play it. Yes, that's true. Ah, that's what a review is. Ah, dang it. Okay, I'm going to make a quick go. Call. Gun. I'm gonna change the genre of music because it's getting real, real like porno in here, and I don't necessarily want porno jazz. What's this? Cyberpunk on stream the first time. We will be streaming it for sure. You can't play classical music on Twitch. 
get DMCA'd. There's very, very few classical recordings that aren't um, owned by somebody. The songs themselves are not, um, but you have to understand that the orchestras that played them own the rights. Do I have high expectations of Cyberpunk? No. I think I have appropriate expectations. I think it's gonna be really good. How can you get DMCA for 400 year old music? Do you, do you not know? Are you asking like a serious question? Are you trying, are you one of those people that's trying to be snarky, but when in fact you actually are the person who is dumb? So the people playing the music, even if it's 400 years old, own the recording. That's how music works. It's not just people playing Mozart. It's the hundred people in that room playing Mozart. And if you play their music without giving them some money, you are stealing from them, according to RAA. So that's how that works. Yes, copyright law is outdated. It's terrible. Terrible. So, like, there is some on the, like, some DMCA-free classical music you can find somewhere because the symphonies or the orchestras or the groups have decided to not claim it, but you can't just play someone else's recording of a song without, you know, giving them something. You cannot play your own classical music with a kazoo and it be okay. We know that firsthand. We actually got in trouble because we did... The Avengers theme on a kazoo and YouTube claimed it as a cover song. It was insane. Turn this down a little bit. Yeah, this does sound like weird elevator music. You know what? Yesterday was Mariachi Celebration Day or something. And we're back. What I miss? Did you play that because I came here? No, yesterday was like National Mariachi. Yeah, Day. we didn't do anything for it. We should have dressed up for it, huh? It's true. Music bit too loud. I just turned it down. How's that? Better? I can turn down. This is so time. good. Well. I'll probably make better ones. Yeah. He doesn't think so, guys. I will surprise you. I didn't abuse the fans. What'd the you do? I did. Someone asked a question. They were trying to be snarky, but they... They asked, how could 400-year-old music get copyright claimed? And I had to explain to them, it's not Mozart who you're paying. It's the London Symphony Orchestra that doesn't want you using their recording of the Mozart music. So was, Bam. that's how. And I was not very nice about it because <laughs> when people are trying to act snarky about something that they, in fact, are the ones that are ignorant Maybe about. Maybe you just read it like that. What? Like, like they were being snarky. No. Or did they put like in, in like parentheses? They put in parentheses snarky. Ah, then you deserve that. That's on they, you. They did. <laughs> I know. I will wear my elf um, hat. Private DJ. Yeah, that'd be sweet. Mm -mm. I'm going to sing this song. I'm going to sing this song. I love that. There's four mariachi songs in this library, completely DMCA free. Right. All right, which one do you want? Oh, those are both of yours. <gasps> what? <laughs> These are Audio Technica. They're actually pretty good quality. Mm hmm. Yo, you want to play motherfucking Donna Gay? That one get at change? Good thing it did. No, we're just getting started. This is your music? Yeah, this is great music. This is music I grew up on. Couldn't go outside and uh, hear this music on the weekend. 
Did you just shove the whole thing in your mouth? I did play Sekiro. Hey, Delta Reaper. How are you? Um, I mean, Alex, we, we, we talk about it a lot. It's not that we don't want... You know, no one ever wants to turn on subscriber-only chat. But if we do big streams, chat goes so fast that we have to limit it because otherwise it goes so fast we can read no one. So <laughs> it's like we can read no one's messages and we might as well just shut chat off. Or we can put it in subscriber and slow it down enough that we can yeah, that see some things. Or that and also there are some non-subscriber trolls that, depending on the nature of the stream, we just kind of yeah. keep out. But most of the time, ours are more laid back. Mm -hmm. So what is this? A this is south of the border. Of night. We are still going to do Demon Souls. We are. What somebody actually suggested was a pretty good idea. I want to have the uh, Ori <laughs> death counter. Mm -hmm. Going. <laughs> my well. my goal is to stay under it. <laughs> you will die less in. Yeah, I already beat it. It's harder. I mean, because Ori is one of those things that you like. Spawn yeah, die, spawn die, spawn die. die. Like. <laughs> I think you'll be There's no way I would die. Well, yeah. I, I 314 times. Three, 314, I forgot. I was like, it's 300. Is it 500 in the first 500 one? 500 first time, 300 and something. Oh, time. God, it's so bad. Gold, get over. No, it's not. I want to be under half of it. What? Take that number and half it. Okay? That's how many times I'm going to die. Oh, man, Jiu-Jitsu was great. If you didn't see, check out... Uh, Only $7. Check out our review of Jiu-Jitsu. Thanks, uh, Thanksgiving. You should uh, check it out for Thanksgiving. Bring the family around and enjoy some Jiu-Jitsu. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what class could be <laughs> It's OJ. Don't put it past them. Ouch. Chet, why are you so hurtful sometimes? Yeah, That's seriously. probably why I don't read... Your messages sometimes, all right? So mean. <laughs> That's why I don't read your messages. You hurt my feelings. Because <laughs> of people like you. <laughs> hey, Joe, you want to play a zombie game? OJ's Bargain Bin. That's a good one. Uh, I think uh, Thin Diesel had a good one, too. Ooh, do you want to go funky? We ride. Let's do we ride. That sounds good. Because we're going to ride to the dead of night. Do I? I know my shirt. I got this from CD Projekt Red. We went out there and got to play some Witcher. They gave it to me. OJ, like, did you tweet? Here. I was in my costume. My, my hands didn't work. No, Doc, I didn't. My hands didn't work because I was in my costume. <laughs> okay, so what's the excuse now that you're not wearing it? I prepared for the stream. I went out and bought snacks for you, beer, okay. set up the camera, reset up the camera. I like you had a ah, Doc. Ah, ah. Talking to me all wrong. <laughs> All right, people have been seven. Thank you so much. Oh, we got High Bar AT ATG. Thank you so much for being here, High Bar. Hi Fat Bo. Man, Think Live Life, and Astro Dummy. All subscribing. Appreciate that. OG Alex, do you have a Twitter? He has a Twitter. I do. It is. He doesn't even know what his Twitter is. I don't really tweet a lot. Only when. Thanks, I Ryan. watch stupid movies. They're, well, they're not stupid movies. They're my movies, which Alex says are stupid. <laughs> Other Joe underscore AJS. That is my Twitter. Follow me. Because I'm somewhat cool. <laughs> <laughs> Alternative intellectual films. Who said that? Ban him! 
<laughs> Best promoter. Bishop, get out of here, Bishop. Where's your friend Noob? You and Noob, get out of here. <laughs> Go and get. <laughs> Where's my other friend? The Noob 84. That's a nice one. That's a nice Noob? Yeah. Alex, how do you consistently get the same hairstyle? Well, I've got hair. I'm going to cut mine off, guys. And I don't know. It, like, grows one direction. Like the band? No, because it stays together. <laughs> I never listen to any of their stuff. And then this Me dude, neither. Harry well, Styles, starts showing up in movies. And I, doesn't yeah, act very I was like, well. who's this guy? It's like, what the fuck? And then he put out a song that I don't think makes any sense called Watermelon Sugar. Oh, God. And it's I like, don't what the that. fuck is it's that? It's everywhere. Hey, bestie. What up, man? Shave it. No, I don't want to shave it all off. Okay. Well, I'm going to take a little break from tweeting. Hurt my fingers. Oh, okay. What's um, up with the weird music? Uh, you can't play real music on Twitch anymore, so we have limited stuff to play. Last time I shaved my head, everyone said I looked like Jet Li. And I was like, okay, well, that is terrible. Never going to do that again. Mm -hmm. So, no, never going to shave my head again. Oh, Samurai Queen, you missed uh, the original music. The beginning of the stream got real sexy. This kind of sounds like the Beatles. When I'm... What, 60? Wait. When, you're, when I'm 64? Yes. When I'm 60. OJ, have you seen Zombievers? He has. Yes, I have. Guys, check out Brave Storm. It's on Amazon. I recommend that one. Or don't. No, do it. We love the jujitsu review. Keep the the bad reviews coming. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna try to make it a regular ish thing. Yeah, just right now with everything going on, but they'll probably make a comeback after some of the games die down. That way we could have some fun. But I like the way we filmed it, cause it's just us having fun. I don't want to turn. Drink, yeah, I don't want to turn my guilty pleasure into work, cause everything we do now is just turned into work. Yeah. And my guilty pleasures, I just want to have fun with it. We drink, have some fun. <clears throat> All right, hopefully I was looking at chat too. I'm glad you like the rapid fires. We got more coming. We got a Valhalla rapid fire coming up. Yeah. Tweeted, Doc. All right, you happy? <laughs> have you seen <laughs> a, a, a movie called Robert? I think you have, right? You were telling me about Robert, the a movie about like a haunted doll or something. Oh God. <laughs> You're breathtaking. We Man will be in the review. Don't get serious. Though. No, I don't want to get serious with it. Just want to have fun. Can I exa sound excited or something for the next rapid fire? No. Why? There's no food in it. Look, I'm going to take that as a smart ass it's, remark. It's got to be ass. like puppies, other an cute animals, or food. Otherwise, I don't give a shit. So, no. Best comment to be excited. Best comment on there was like whenever I listen to these, I feel like Alex is like smoking a cigar with a robe and sipping on cognac. That sounds great. <laughs> I prefer scotch with cigars, but Bur uh, Brandy's great too. All right. Tweeted. Three minutes. Everyone's here, right? Do y'all grab your drinks? No. Yes. When do we get to see you cook food? Never. That's weird. Uh, watch me cook. Oh, like I was saying, if you guys were here earlier, the movie Cabal I was watching. It's about like a secret organization. They capture this uh, uh, serial killer, mm -hmm. and they put him in an island, mm -hmm. and then they kidnap. Then what happens? They kidnap some girls from the orphanage because nobody ever looks for orphans apparently in this movie. Yeah. So they're like, all right, we'll just kidnap these girls. They're like, hey, it's a photo shoot on the woods. So they're taking pictures, mm -hmm. and then this. Guy comes up with an axe. They're like, oh, my God, who's that? And then they start killing a girl. And then, yeah, that's as far as I've gotten. 
and the main guy's like, hey, this is what's going on. I don't like mm-hmm. it. You need to stop it. He's like, what man is going to take out this serial killer and the whole organization of this shadow organization? Yeah, sounds great. I think it's great. <laughs> well, it's, it's called Cabal. Let me see if I can <laughs> pull it up. <laughs> see, that's that's his reaction. Where can you buy authentic Cuban cigars? I think the embargo is lifted. I'm pretty sure you can get them in anywhere. Oh, yeah, here it is. Let's see if you... It won't focus. No, it's too dark. No. Okay, well, put it up. Do it for chat. Chat wants to know. <laughs> Let's watch the trailer real quick. Is there a trailer? Can we do that? Or will we get in trouble? I'm pretty sure you get in trouble. Okay, well, here is the cover of it that made me watch it. It's like, oh, what is this? And Hans. And Hans. <laughs> Kabah! Oh, he's just pushing his luck now. <laughs> oh, Jimmy, you haven't even seen it. Come on. <laughs> That's the serial killer that they kidnap and put him in the island to kill the girls. And the guy up top is the guy who has to take him out. <laughs> it's not a poor movie, but there is a lot of boobs. A lot of boobs. <laughs> They're orphan girls. Of age. <laughs> of age. Oh, God damn Mind it. you. Of age. Oh, okay. I, I didn't make this movie. <laughs> Prince of, Yes, I have. Samurai Queen wants to know, did you watch Panda Cheese? Oh, I knew I forgot something. I will today. Send me a link. That way I don't forget. Orphan boobs. <laughs> yes, I actually have been. Uh, I love watching terrible movies. I loved horror movies. Uh, horror growing, movies. Yes. He also loves horror, horror, horror movies, up. but he likes horror movies too. <laughs> guys, check it out. Let me know what you guys think. All right. Did you want to play the new I'm game, ready. or do you want to play? Which one do you want to play? Let's try this one. New one. Okay. All right, everybody, hold on to your butts. We're playing a new game that Doc recommended to us. Now, know that this game could be horrible. The last game that Doc re- rec- recommended to us was a little bad. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, we we're not going to revoke his recommendation no. uh, powers mother- because it's not. I no. like that he's recommending games. But the last one, Doc, three strikes. Like, this is, you've, this is, if we were in Mortal <laughs> Kombat or Jiu-Jitsu world, like, Jiu-Jitsu. you can only lose, lose so many fights before your realm is gone. So, like, you've lost two fights in a row. <laughs> but it provides quality stream entertainment. <laughs> yeah. Do you got a Nintendo Switch? You guys think I make a good purchase? I do. I think Breath of the Wild is one of my favorite games that I've played in the last five years. I think it is super fun. You should explore that world and play that game a lot. And even if that's the only thing that you play on it, it's probably worth it. But you should play other shit. But that game alone is is almost worth it. I'm told tutorials key for we this don't, game. We don't, we don't do, tutorials do tutorials or read instructions, Doc. Okay. You should know this. All right, how do we play this game? I don't know. It says loading. <laughs> Welcome to Sea View Hotel. Book in here. Buccaneer? Sweet! <gasps> Doc, I have a new D&D character that I want to try to play. <laughs> oh, yes. He, it's a, it's a pirate who had everything taken from him, his family, everything, by a greedy bank who reclaimed everything. So now he uh, goes on random acts of, uh, he burns buildings down. Uh, to get back at the government, he calls himself the Yarsonist, <laughs> and I want to make this a D and D character. Get, get it? Do you want? Come on, like that. Come that sounds great, right? That's pretty good. I told him if it was a movie, I'll watch it. <laughs> the Yarsonist. <laughs> See, that would be a movie that OJ would watch. Yes, I've seen Stitches. Don't die. No promises. I probably will. 
OJ would fund that movie. Yeah, yeah you're <laughs> probably right. Start a new game. Story of Jimmy Hall. Find out Jimmy's secret by... Is he starting? No? Oh. By asking spirits about... Are we playing the Ouija board? How the fuck are we going to talk to spirits? God damn it, Doc! What is this? <laughs> what is this, Doc? I'm not playing the Ouija board. There's a way to hang this up. Close the curtain. There's a cur whole curtain over there. We should pull the curtain. I'm told no Ouija. All right. It better not be. All right. Fan out Jimmy's secret by asking spirits about the things you find, then making connections to prompt them to appear. Jimmy will do his best to stop you, f stop you from finding out the truth. Start a new game. Let's do it. Wait, Yo, you want to play a motherfucking zombie play. game? <laughs> no, it's a spooky game. But thank you for subscribing. Um, I don't have a current game. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna... Well, oh. Yeah. Oh, Jimmy. Oh, Jimmy. Oh, Jimmy. How's the sound, everybody? What? They went all out for this game, huh? Hello? Hello. I love accents. Hannah, where are you? You all went off and left me behind. Where are you now? Look, if you travel other places, number? they all have accents. I know. That's why I'm going to go visit Flippy. I don't know. I'll have to call Find when I get there. A, a British, a British well, bird. It doesn't matter. Just yeah, but I, I fear she's just going to be like, oh, you twat, every time. She's going to call me a twat. She's like, I'm trying. Stop yelling at me. It's pretty natural for everyone to be calling you twat all the time. <laughs> Hello. Ah, Maya, I presume. Who the fuck does that? Uh, uh, don't be alarmed. It's Bill Nye. Your friends spooked you in. It's like Bill Nye <laughs> and, <laughs> right? uh, and like a weird clown we're trying to And be. the doctor uh, smashed together. It's all been paid for, so you don't have to worry about anything. Hey, hey I was just talking friends. about you, Flippy. Thank you so much for that raid. Very nice. And there's uh, quite a few <laughs> of you I see as well. Nice to see so many fresh... Young faces <laughs> for a change. Uh, you're here what? for the music festival in town. Oh, okay. Yeah, we were supposed to be camping there tonight, but <laughs> there's hardly weather for that, is there? Oh, we're doing great. Thank you for asking. Hope you're doing great as well. Oh, we'll we'll uh, by the way, I'm staying with I you, don't Flippy. Think so we'll probably just get going. That's fine. And uh, if you don't mind me asking, Maya, would you be interested in uh, the entertainment tonight? Tonight. Uh, starts around midnight, usually. It's, it's me doing it, actually. Comedy. I do this comedy character called uh, Hugo Hunt. Let's He's go sort of check it out. Comedic sociopath <laughs> says things that you're not supposed to say and that sort of thing. What it's time and where? Scenes. I don't think so. We're what are you so doing? Dead, I think. Are you sure I can't twist your arm on this? It's okay. I'd rather just go to bed. Ouch. Sorry. Fine. 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 Which way are the rooms? Um, just take the lift. Uh, you're on the first floor. Okay, thanks. Now, just so you're not confused. Oh, and, and then drop your key off in the box, uh, if you will, Maya, please, tomorrow. In the UK, <laughs> they, they label the, the floors incorrectly. I so, remember you yeah, saying yeah, that. Yeah, the first yes, floor is actually the second floor. Wait, oh, that's so, right. No takers. God damn it. Who needs proper entertainment when you've got YouTube and my face or whatever? 
Stupid, uncultured. You don't have life rooms, children. They're naughty. Don't start this again. Oh, I don't want shit. to hear it, okay? Not tonight. Naughty children are bad eggs. They need to be taught a lesson. <laughs> Did you tell her the show was free? <laughs> Psycho vibes. Is it his mom? Cracking, whack him hard and crack the shell. Kick him down the stairs to hell. You know what you need to do, Jimmy. Show them who's boss. That's the way to do it. <laughs> Red Wolf, thank you so much for your resubscription of eight months. Are we watching a movie? Are you sure about that? Uh, is this a game? There's not a hotel on Earth that actually has power that would ever let you light a candle in your room. Are you kidding me? How many drunk people would just burn the goddamn hotel down? <laughs> room 101. That's it. Go to the Nine, one, one. Nine, 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 I think. Is it? Flippy, who do you call when you're in danger out there? <laughs> No, this guy knows everything. Oh shit! Let's get the fudge out. Sea View Hotel has a dark past. Its ghosts have a story to tell. Story time. Use the ghost and spirit receiver to talk to them. They'll tell you Jimmy's secret. Can someone change the, uh, the thing to we're playing a game instead of just chatting? Did they? Oh, can someone please? Doc. AK Doc. <laughs> At all cost. It's time to find out our Jimmy's secrets. All right, OJ. You step in the, the, the body of a hot young woman. What's the first thing that you do? Go to the mirror. <laughs> Was that the wrong answer? I don't know. You're, I mean... Oh, wait, okay. No. Wait, what? That's the volume. What are you doing? Oh. Got this. If you haven't seen it, go to the menu and watch the tutorial video before you continue. Let's do that. Is this not it? Oh. Open menu. Watch the tutorial. The situation. All right. Doc said tutorial's key. This is Jimmy. Okay. Looks something like our Jimmy. What was the problem? It says my has escaped. Bill Nye's pissed off about it, though. It's a deal. Deal, 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 deal. Deal, deal. Thank you. 
You're not telling me any buttons. You're just telling me he's gonna sneak up on me. <laughs> he can't hide on the stairs because that's dangerous. All right, so you can't hide in the basement, not on the floor, or the stairs. See, that is pretty creepy though. I'm not gonna lie. Or in the water closet. In the loo. The water the port loo. Why would I attract them? I don't want to. Oh god, this is like a stealth game. I'm gonna be horrible at these. <laughs> Get your popcorn and your beer ready. This game looks way better than the last game Doc recommended. Right. It already looks creepy when I saw him fucking poking his head out. Mm -hmm. He does look like Bill Nye and Matt Smith, like, had a weird baby. <laughs> the over you don't watch Doctor Who, though, right? Do you know Matt Smith I know who you're talking about. Okay. I've never watched it. Me, man. Whoa, fuck that. Who's my favorite doctor? Probably David Tennant. But I like Matt Smith. Matt Smith has some good episodes, too. Man, there's so much shit going on already, man. Oh, fuck. I'll help you. Are you going to help me survive? No. <laughs> You're dying. <laughs> All right. Chat. What do you think? Over or under 20 deaths? <laughs> under, under, under. Hey, you are my new friend. Over. You Your are Jimmy. Your spirit receiver in the first room storeroom. Okay. Guest room. There's uh, instructions. Oh, God, I'm going to fucking die. Don't, don't, don't start new game. Where's the... Well, how do I go back? Well, I don't know. Return to Seaview. Uh, and that was the game, guys. I hope you enjoyed it because I was terrified. What about you? Leave your comments below. <laughs> that was that. <laughs> <laughs> never lost, never died. <laughs> no. Fuck it. We oh wait. Just we return should. to see you. That's right. Turn on device. Let's turn this on. <laughs> I'm scared, Alex. I don't want to do it. Use the speak on. Icon. Hello. Is there anyone here? Who there? there? Who 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 there? <laughs> Never played Death Strand. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Oh, okay. That's how you. That's. stuff in the desk. I'm scared, Alex. Yeah, but remember, games always try to reward you for looking in, like, the first place oh, to get you to like, continually do it so you find stuff. So try to find stuff I in the desk. I can't click on those. Oh. It just makes me turn Go to the around. storeroom, then. Maybe there's stuff in here. Please don't be behind. 
No, it just makes me turn around. How do you search for stuff? Why are you turning the volume up and down? I don't know. Why I are keep you using trying the to mouse walk. And keyboard. I guess it's just a clicker. It's just a clicker. He doesn't appear on the ground floor, which is floor zero. What's this? I think I have to go on the stairs. Go down. He's not in the basement. Just because you say he can't be in the basement, right? Try it, door. Fudge. Fudge. Fudge was up. DRG Blaze, thank you. Uh oh, what floor are you going to? And this one right here. I hate these European fucking stairwells, unless you're in like way northern Europe, because uh, they have a thing against tall people, and you hit your head on fucking everything. <laughs> yeah, what's up with that, Flippy? Fix it. You personally. <laughs> Um, I don't think I'm gonna be able to go on any of these doors. Maybe this one. Oh, come on. Oh, the you, you have to turn the scary donos on, I think. No. <laughs> Stop it. No, I was trying to go back down. Krish, welcome, Krish. Blaze! They oh, God damn it! Go, go down. You go find the mirror and the compass. Uh, I saw that. Is it that one? Is this a door? I'm lost. No, it's this one. No, it's not. the basement. That's the basement. I know where I'm at now. I got this. Uh, Joel T, I would fucking love that. What? If they did a mist style game uh, in this format. You would hate it. And it would be wonderful to force you to play it. Oh, <gasps> time crisis! You just play that game all the time. Whoa! Oh, God. <laughs> So it begins. Guys. Oh shit, I forgot. What? But if you failed, then I probably would have failed too. The the PS5's for sale. Oh no! Yeah, got busy. <sighs> House of the Dead was a good arcade game. There was uh Carnival was good, Area 51 was good as far as shooters go. Now, everyone, going to the gym provides a lot of different benefits, not just health benefits, but if you're ever in a haunted hotel and someone's like, oh, I dead bolted this door, if you're strong enough, you force your way through that fucking door. Sure. That door's not holding me. Are you out of your mind? That <laughs> fast. Let's try the one. Look through the keyhole, be a pervert. I'm trying! You're right, I was talking the first minute. Yeah, I don't buy I don't um, doubt it. People are still scalping them. They're trying to sell them for seven, eight hundred dollars on the internet, so. Confirmed. Initiating dance mode. Oh shit. That's a way to hoard. That's a new one on me. Step back. Is that a scary donation? <laughs> it's pretty fucking awesome showing off my robot moves. <laughs> Terrible robot. Um, it says you.
Can I go back here? Oh, scary demos are not on yet. Okay. Yeah, you guys have to like bug Doc and remember. Doc's what do you mean? That was whoa. Well, that's this is one is around. Like it's not Doc. You know, he's not always here. It's we don't true. chain him he's to the desk life. or anything anymore. No. Can do that one. Of course. I mean, what do you need an Xbox Series X for right now? Play what game? Somebody around that corner. Don't say that. He's coming to get you. Stop it. Oh! I know what I gotta do! Do you? Try the store. Oh, again. Ooh, the store. So now we know where the storeroom is. Ooh, what do we got? Nope. Nope, doing that. What is that? Is that supposed to be a si like a suppressor of some sort? I want sage. Oh shit, did I forget to buy sage? What? It's a very common herb oh, in Thanksgiving yeah. cooking for tomorrow. I no, thought I you were talking about home. like sage for, to cleanse your house. No, I'm not. I don't Doesn't smudge my house. I do, do cook for. I got to cook Thanksgiving for tomorrow. You guys want to get nuts? Come on! <laughs> uh, there Come will be nuts. no more Assassin's Creed streams. I'm finishing the game entirely offline. Yeah. I've got 50 plus hours into the game. And uh, there'll be a rapid fire review coming up sometime next week. Uh, it's like every corner, I'm like, fuck, 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 fuck. <sighs> this room is too dark. You will have to wait. I'm not going to give any hints about Assassin's Creed until I'm done. Until you see the review. Oh, I forgot about this. Is anyone there? Yeah, it's me. Is someone there? The ghost that's been watching you poop. You make weird faces. Is someone there? Ooh. It's like, yeah, you nasty fuck. <laughs> yeah, you can definitely do the down and dirty in Assassin's Creed. Every character in that game is horny as fuck. It's ridiculous. No, wait. That's the bathroom. That's not a name. We're going to stream Demon Souls. OJ, if not all three of us, OJ, Joe, and I, uh, definitely I really the two of us. So you'll get you'll get Demon Souls. We just have to finish the other bigger games first. You think he's over here? Yes. Joe, you want to play the zombie game? No. No zombie game. But thank you, Emo Flamingo. Emo, emo Flamingo would look cool. It'd be a black flamingo. You could probably or pretty just easily like a turn lot, a flamingo like a black, but if you feed them squid instead. It's interesting. Instead of the, the, the scrims. I was thinking about, like, why, why are you hiding them, in here? like... Just have like this emo haircut and put like eyeliner or guy hair. liner. I would put hair on it. <laughs> you you would put hair on it. On a flamingo, yes. Okay. Yeah, I found a key. The deadlock key for room one twenty two. What now? No, no. I don't know if there's gonna be a squadron s stream. We got a lot. So we have to finish the Spider-Man review, which we filmed some for today. Like it's guy finish the Vol Hollow review, which will be next week. The COD review, which will probably be up the week after. And then there's Yakuza Demon Souls. And what else? Cyberpunk. 
Some childish, violent drawings. Interesting. They're calling your type of drawings childish because like, some of these look like, pretty cool. I was like, how is childish? I think that's pretty good. That's, <laughs> OJ's pretty got worse good. tattoos than, the, than those. <laughs> Can I not, not look at the nightstand? You noted. No, no. Would I say turkey is overrated? Um, it's definitely not overrated. Most people make garbage ass turkey. Garbage. Dude, I make fucking delicious turkey. And Damn. so I think most people eat garbage. Damn. So they don't <laughs> like it. The one I like, I love the Cajun one. It's still a key. Is someone there? You start asking better questions. Like what? How else would you get them to respond? You bought Demon Souls two weeks ago. We did, but we also have a lot of other things to do. Storeroom? I was already there. And this one. Okay, cool. Deep fried turkey. It can be good. People also fucked that up, though. I could teach an entire class. I mean, talk for 30 minutes to an hour on, like, the, the issues with people's cooking techniques of turkeys, the damage of uh, Norman Rockwell. Oh, my God. That guy fucked up turkey so bad. Like, he's the reason that Americans eat shitty food on Thanksgiving and go into all of that. But I won't. <laughs> I want to. But out of respect for this game, I won't. God, I'm fucking terrified now. Every fucking corner now. Damn it, Doc. Why would you give me this game? Oh, God. <laughs> Go to the rooms. You just oh, got keys to. Huh? You just got a bunch of keys. Go to the rooms. I already did. Well, no. I got the keys so I could lock them. So you could lock them? Yeah, I could lock the guy in. Oh, I was already in here. I could lock him in or lock him out. Yeah, but you can also go to the, ro the other rooms and see if there's other stuff in there. I already went. No, you confused me. No, that's not what I wanted. Did already do this one? I'm lost and I'm scared. I want to go over here. How do I go over there? Oh, there it is. Turn the lights on, turn the lights on, turn the lights on. I can't. What do you mean you can't? There's no... You haven't found a compass or the scribe here. Wait. Who's that? Anyone? Hello? Jimmy, can you just tell me where you are, Jimmy? Enough of this hiding shit! Damn it! Can you go upstairs? Oh, there's another room. Let me check out. Move into this room. Turn around. Search. Yay! Stairs. Right, so now I have one. the stairs and I have the. We, we can go to the oh, storeroom. Wait. Yeah, the storeroom. We should go to the storeroom. Thank you for being a bad bias. Jimmy, I'm so fly. Thank you so much for that donation. Hey, thank you. Glad you enjoyed it. Hopefully, more to come after. Damn it, not on that. Ding. What is that? It's the game constantly letting you know you need to find a compass in a scrying mirror. Well, no, I know, but I thought there was something over here on this wall. No war zone today. Uh, we are editing. We just filmed. We played for so miles. much fucking Call of Duty yesterday and the day before. I don't want to play any for a while. That too. 
But uh, Joe's editing uh, for the uh, angry review for one for you guys. So he's doing that, and we are trying to not to get killed by discount bill nine. Star wait, wait, wait. Hello. Is someone there? <laughs> Stop it. That You're was pretty helping. good. That was pretty good. You're not helping. Someone there. Whoa. So, if I do see him, do I have to, like, fucking start clicking right away? I don't fucking know, man. I've never played this game before. Why don't you get caught and see? I don't want to get caught. I'm scared. Fuck yeah! I would still use it. Can I use it? No. Okay. No, it's purely ornamental. I would still use it to hit someone if they were trying to attack me. Yeah, I mean, even... Even ornamental swords, you can fuck someone up. With. You just gotta hit him hard enough. One of those right across the fucking temple. Boom, bitch. You're out for a while. I don't know for how. Wait, was that a head or was it it's blurry? <gasps> Handcuffs. Ooh, so kinky. kinky. Wait, was that? Yeah, that was open. I could stab somebody with a spoon. So, just saying. So you could stab someone with a spoon? Yep. Why? Well, I wouldn't want to, but if it comes, the push comes to shove, Alex. I mean, I would I'll cut someone's it. heart out with a spoon. Because it would hurt more. <laughs> That's what the great Alan Rickman told me. Oh, do you know where that's at? Yeah. Okay. Oh, God. I know. I'm trying. Did I do this one? I don't remember. I'll check it anyways. No, I did not. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Spirits. <laughs> we found the spirits, guys. <laughs> we found the spirits. We win. <laughs> Game over. What? Oh, okay. Oh, turpentine a lighter. You know what you can do with that? Kill some other truckers. Anyone here? Is anyone there? Is anyone there? Nope. Maybe try out here. Is anyone there? In the hallway? Are you kidding? I was gonna hear you. Do you got the room for 112? Did you go back to 112? I thought I already opened it. Oh, I don't know. I like 107. Wait. I already did 107, right? I don't know. I've been paying attention. Man. <laughs> Fuck. I'm lost. It's a pretty creepy game. The um. hotel manager is actually a psychopath. And uh, we're a young lady that has to, like, search for the, through the hotel to figure out a way to get out. And there's, like, a spirits here. There's all sorts of ghosts and shit. Nope. I'll go back. Pretty I don't, neat. I don't like it. Yeah, OJ doesn't like it because it's kind of scary. <laughs> to talk to ghosts and shit. They gave me a spirit box. What's it called? I've, I've at dead. Dead at. At dead at night. Dead at daylight. Dead. 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 At dead of night. Can you turn that off? 
That's a good question. Zero okay. percent complete. You haven't found shit. I found all those keys. Look at all this shit. What do you mean? I haven't found shit. I got a sword, a chef's hat, whiskey. What more do you fucking want? Actually, not a whole lot. If you gave me a sword, a chef hat, and a whiskey, <laughs> that sounds like a great Christmas. <laughs> exactly. And a lighter. Is anyone there? Thanks for subbing, casual shy. PS5 is pretty good so far. Sounds like a party. In me's pantaloonis. Fishing works. Counting on it. Tell your friends about it. Watch it. Gives it give it a look. See oh shit. Uh, it's not going to be like a weekly thing, but it could no. be something It'd that we like do. Surprise! Yeah, like once a month, once every two months, kind of thing. If a good one comes up. Yeah, because these guys don't have the endurance, like I do, to watch <laughs> my movies every night. Hmm. <laughs> Wait, what, did I go in there? No. Oh, it's locked. So is the storeroom on ground zero? <laughs> Shit up zero. All right, let's go. Because the storeroom wouldn't be on the first floor. It would be on the floor yeah, with the... Yeah, it's uh, right here. It was back to where it was. Ground. OJ has seen all of the Neil Breen movies. Someone. Best birthday present ever. Someone went out and found every Neil Breen movie and put it on a drive for OJ for OJ's birthday. That person is a nice, nice person. I think they also got you some really rare beer. I don't know who it is, but I'm pretty sure that person's awesome. <laughs> I agree. It wasn't this I think it was down here. No, it's the arcade room. Rare beer is. Yeah, it only drops off we boss mobs. Get them oh, here. see, you ruined the joke. What? Too dark. Oh, we just play a game. We're huge fans oh, of Red Letter Media. Like we're we watch al almost all of their stuff. OJ probably watches all their stuff. I watch most of their stuff. Actually, you probably don't watch their Star Trek stuff, and that's mm, something that's I only for me. Yeah, I love their Star Trek stuff. I tweeted at them. I'm like, guys, can I hang out with you? And they said no. I'll bring the beer. They never responded to me. <laughs> I was like, come on, I'll bring beers. We have a great time. Yeah, and they're probably busy as hell, too. I don't remember. Is there a map? You're in the lobby. There's got to be a map somewhere. No? I think it was... Uh, OG's watched Lamagan, yes. <laughs> yes. Tell him about that. Um, go on, I. Can we play Demon Souls yet? You want us to play Demon Souls for only like a couple hours and then stop playing Demon Souls for a week or two? I have a feeling you guys would bitch way more if we did that than if we actually wait and give it the appropriate time slot and the That's amount of true. time and dedication. That I game honestly want to play needs. for hours. But we did a lot of filming today. We've got a lot of reviews to do, and once all the work, all that work is done, we'll we'll play the game. 
It won't be after. It'll be after the ho- like Thanksgiving holiday, but really? before Christmas. Oh, wait, Tom, let's do it. I forced God I to watch it. Son of a bitch! No one's spooked because OJ won't go to the right place. This place is amazing. I don't remember where. Wa- All right, tell me where it is. All right, downstairs. Where is the store? I haven't been paying attention. Ask chat. Chat will know. Or if they don't, they'll <laughs> lie or look it up. What was in the room behind the front desk? It wasn't that one, but we could you go know. double check. Yeah, because I, I went the in room. there. Was there something locked in there you couldn't open? No, this is the basement, isn't Wait, it? Wait, that's the basement. God damn it! Did you hear that? Is someone there? Is someone there? I guess not. I am a Souls Games fan. AJ and OJ are typically not. No, it says Bloodborne. Something like that. Is it this one? God damn it. I'm fucking The best lost. way to get someone to respond to you is to say something oh, incorrect. No. That's not true. I'm trying to find my way back into the mm-hmm. fucking lobby. <laughs> Like what you should be is I you think should be on those things going like ghosts don't exist and then a ghost will be like motherfucker what <laughs> and then that's how you get the ghost to show up. Right. You went right by it. Cool. So is it downstairs? I'm gonna wait here, right, Doc? I'm wait for you. I, I enjoyed some of the zombie mode. Some of it's kind of bullshitty, but I enjoyed it for the most part. No, oh God. Go left. Now go straight. Now go in there. See if there's anything in here. No, you see? Do. It won't let me. It just makes me turn around. There's nothing to click on in here anywhere? Nope. Is someone there? Who's there? Maybe this side. A lot of people assume that it goes from the 1800s. Now, I think ghosts are completely and totally made up, but let's say that they're not. And they're not. I know that OJ believes in ghosts, and some people in chat believe in ghosts. Is it a rule that when you're a ghost, your ghost uniform is the outfit you died in? So if you, like, die in the shower, you're just, like, a naked ghost forever? Or do you, like, get to pick your yes. ghost outfit? Naked ghost. And if you're, like, let's say you're shitting and you Elvis your way out of this world, are you, is your ghost outfit, like, your pants around your ankles? Or can you, like, pull up your I ghost pants? I think you can pull them up. You can pull them up. Ghosts can pull up their pants, even if they die without them on their ankles? <laughs> yes. All right, we're going to level three. This is new... Uncharted territory. Why would ghosts have clothes? I don't know. Well, what do you think? They like Casper? Are they like Casper like that or what? I know. Stop chiming. Okay, I'm going to get scared now. Oh, God. What was that? Oh, that scared me. <laughs> Unwiped ghost ass? Yeah, seriously. Like, ah! what, if you die shitting and you just... Ghost poops. Those things are real. You guys know what ghost poops are? Google it. <laughs> I was never there. <laughs> or was I? <laughs> These are good questions that no one will answer. Ah, I was like, oh shit, was he coming? <laughs> G007 man, thank you so much. I agree, think live life. It's just magic. Well, oh, like when people magic. found the first, you know, when, when people found mammoth skulls, and they're like, it must be a cyclops, because a mammoth skull kind of looks like a cyclops skull. And it's like, oh, it's a cyclops. It's like, eh, it's a mammoth skull. 
308. God, I, where you at? Actually. Bioshock Infinite in the. Um, Infinite's my second favorite Bioshock, but it's not even my favorite Bioshock, so I don't know if it would make the list. Uh, I would say close call. <laughs> It's like a ticking time bomb, man. I you cut the my wrong wire. Be. It's I do, but I'm not telling you. I like it. Checks out. Of course it does. It's Alex. What? What about my story? All your stories check out. Because uh, she's the one my go-to. Where she's like, actually, did you know? Mm hmm Fun fact. <laughs> I know lots of fun facts. Dear mum, I'm sorry for mom. everything. Mummy. Goodbye. Oh, okay. <gasps> Did I take it? You should have. Right. Mum. Mummy. Mum mum. I found every goddamn thing except for... Go to 308. For... Did you go 308? I did go to 308. You sure? Yeah, this is right here. This is where I found uh, one what? of the things. You found one thing. Okay. Well, it shouldn't be laggy. Um, it's not laggy. Our computer, our uh, camera has issues in the dark since yes, we're sitting in the dark. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> Fashion jujitsu. Did that freak you out? That's why we try not to move at all. Not even our faces. Mm -mm. I actually have a very expressive, happy face. You just can't see it because the frame rate's so bad. Angry Mahican, I'm home. Glad you made it home in your epic journey. Can you open the stairwell from here? I have not tried. What? How is it locked on both sides? You put the key in the keyhole. I don't believe it. What do you mean? That's how, key, that's how locks work. Is it? The door's not barred. He fucking scared me, guys. I thought he fucking left. <laughs> Woo! I thought he left. <laughs> oh, okay. You oh think yeah. The, ghost, the ghosts were here to get you. <laughs> we're here. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm not wearing it today. The heart monitor, so that's good. That's good. <gasps> Damn it! It's not the one I'm looking for. All right. All right. The macaroons were amazing. They were. My favorite was the dark chocolate. Raspberry was pretty close. Pistachio was also very good. All right, let's go to level two. Yeah, I have a great recipe not. that I got somewhere. Where did I get that for pistachio for macaroons me. with pistachio butter in the, the center? It was. It's a great recipe. Chef Sting. Really good stuff. Turned out really well. Ah. Uh. Damn it! I keep forgetting about the radio. Alex is supposed to help me. Radio. What? <laughs> Not the Cuba Gooden Jr. movie. Hello? Hello? Are corrupting so many people in chat. Wonton Sushi is going to watch Jujitsu because of you now, too. <laughs> hey, look. Honestly, that's what I want to accomplish with the reviews. Well, what's in here? <laughs> what's in there? 
won't let me click on that. You can't click on the humidor looking thing? Nope. I know what I gotta do. That's what I've been trying to do this entire time. Wait, how do I use my items? Dude, I don't fucking know. I guess I can't. Hey, Joe, you wanna play a zombie game? <laughs> Alright. Level two was a waste of time. Remember that. Ground floor. What's LG? Did we do LG? Basement. Let's go to the basement! He won't be there. He won't be in the basement? No, he can't hide in the basement. Stairs. And I forgot what else. The floor. Never go to the basement. Wait, what? Well, this is different, I think. I hope. I don't know. I don't know anymore. It's nothing here. Damn it! Let's try the box. Is someone there? Is someone there? I'm actually gonna get freaked out when I hear something. Yes, I'm there? here. <laughs> Why do you sound like that? There? I don't know. Like whoever thought ghost would sound like that. Ooh, it's me. That's not scary. Is anyone there? Is someone there? Yeah, AJ scared OJ. Because <laughs> he came in the first time, he's like, oh, I'm leaving. When in doubt, blame the Victorians. Ah, got it. <laughs> Ghost comes out. Ooh, it is me, Charles. Do you remember? Rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> Rubbish! <laughs> um, we already tried everything. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Fucking kid! Fuck you, kid! Give me a heart attack! <laughs> I used a spear box! How the fuck did you not show up? The kid didn't want to talk to you. <sighs> These chest pains, Alex. <laughs> you know how many games uh, they would sell if it's like local variety streamer died of a heart attack while playing this game? <laughs> That's a good picture of me. <laughs> <laughs> I was already here with a. I don't know. Have you gone left? Go behind the counter. Is someone I there? I can't go behind the counter. Is someone there? Oh, God, that actually got me. Yeah, can you I think it won't desk? let me because it just goes here and... Um, no, I can't because I'm like... Go me, forward? Me, uh, no. Go right? No. Nope. Yeah, but go that way. I thought you said behind. I already went back here. Did you? Yeah, it's a dead end. Dead. What's in there? Yeah, as soon as I can get to. What the fuck is that? Who's there? I know you're here, little girl. Hello? Hello? <laughs> you need to speak in their, <laughs> their native language. Hello? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are you well, there? Well, they're, they're British ghosts. <laughs> So it's hello. Oh shit! I was like, wait, no, that's not. <laughs> hello, get out. <laughs> that's not the right one. Alex, is it your turn? <laughs> no, you need to finish this game. Go for. Oh, I need to finish this game. I can't find a goddamn mirror. Look, and there's nothing in this room I can click. What? <gasps> Son of a bitch! Wait. Oh no, that's that. Okay. Let me try this in here. I don't think I did. I can combine things? 
I didn't know I could combine things. How do you combine things? Oh, shit. Is someone there? Is anyone there? Is anyone there? Go back. Donde? The basement. Go to the elevator. Fuck the basement, you see a little girl? Oh, God. Go to the basement. Is this basement? No. Go to the elevator. The elevator. I'm lost. Have you tried any of these doors? Yeah, they're locked. Because that's the video game room. What's up there to the left? I can't go in there. It's too dark. Oh, spooky. Can I use, like, a Molotov? What's this? This is a spooky game. We need to find a compass and a mirror because it keeps telling you. And it's going to drive you mad because you know what you got to do. But you can't find it. It's not there. <laughs> it's never there. You didn't see shit in the basement? You go down there. <laughs> oh, God. What is this? Just close the door. <laughs> All right. Let's go back. Let's try. LG. Oh, LG. I know you were here, little girl. Let's try it again. Is anyone there? What? Here's a purse. Take the purse. <gasps> oh. What's your name? I think she said I'm dead. Who did the child's purse belong to? It was mine. It was for my birthday. But it was stolen. Shit. Oh, no, that's not what I want to do. Oh, well, I guess I'm done, right? I swear the violent drawings. Who drew those violent pictures? That's right, the kid ones. Your mom! <laughs> the boy. The boy. What boy? Ask about stuff. Why was there a collection of whiskey bottles in one of the rooms? <laughs> Who does the sword belong to? Jimmy had it. I didn't like it. Oh shit! What else do I have? Ask about the girl in the basement? Mm-hmm. I saw a girl in the basement. Is that you? Who was she? Who did the wedding ring belong to? I don't know. How did those mirrors get broken? I don't know. <gasps> what about that Who wrote yeah. the note that says goodbye? I just I don't know. I saw some suitcases in a chest. Who did they belong to? She doesn't want to talk to you anymore. Wait a while before trying to make contact again. We played a little bit of Little Hope. We haven't finished it yet. Everyone's alive, by the way. Haven't killed anyone because I am the best. God damn it, game. Let's try again here. Oh, I gotta wait. How long? Is it Amy? You have to wait a while. Well, what's a while? It could be like 
five seconds. Da -da -da. Please don't show up. <laughs> First floor, huh? Yep. Okay. We gotta. Where's found anything? We gotta go to the store. Where is the store? I think it was over here somewhere. I feel like it's here. You open any of those drawers? Nope. I found it! We've already been in here. This is a store, right? You know, open... Open stuff. No, we haven't played Demon Souls yet. We're gonna play it later. Is someone there? Is someone there? Why did I need to find this room? I got the key for it. What games do I play in my free time? Um, uh, League mainly now. <laughs> Can I go here? Mm, guess not. Yes, we have. Alex is not very good at it, but what are you gonna do? What? GTFO! Yeah, we played GTFO, it was fun. Who's there? You gotta figure out how to piss these ghosts off. Start talking about, like, football or something. Yeah, yeah, Manchester yeah. United is a bunch of sissies, and then they'll, you know, you'll get some ghost soccer hooligans fighting you. Let's see, because I'm on the first floor, so I could open the stairs now. Okay, open the stairs. That's the only one I could do. So I guess we just open that locked one. In League, I am platinum. Hello? I am hard stuck platinum. Hello? I can get to diamond, then I get my ass kicked back down to platinum. Where do you see that, Doc? Oh, you have to leave this, leave the spirit box. And then there was that thing that says call Jimmy. You saw it. Oh, shit. <laughs> if they're Manchester United fans, you, we call Man U a bunch of cities. Or say Man City is better. Or say Liverpool is better. Or any of those other ones. Hey, girl, hey. No, I don't want to do that, dog. <laughs> God damn it. You made me do it. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, God. This is a bad idea. Hey, girl. Oh, God, I'm going to die. Did you on there? Oh. Oh, please don't die. Oh, God. Yeah, I already went in all these rooms. I'm gonna open the stairs. Oh, 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 oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Your heart's so gold. Yeah. It's hard to climb now. There's so many fucking feeders and ridiculous people in league. I play all the different supports. I'm gonna try pressing again once I open the goddamn door. I can't. No, no, no. What, what? Oh, oh, God. Oh, God. No. Oh, Fuck! God damn it, Doc! He's gonna come get you. Oh, 
I'm waiting for his fucking head. Oh, God. You been down here? I don't like this. What does that mean? Footsteps. He's probably behind you. Oh God, here he is. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, take my sword and stab him. Oh god, that was uh, actually pretty scary. I didn't think he was gonna come by that fast. Oh, I should have looked at the people. Oh, God. Yes, you should have looked at the people. Hope he's not hiding around the corner. Stop it. You're scaring me. Yeah, I know. Nick, I told you I need cardio multiple times. Oh God! Ah, <laughs> uh, they got you. I was like, yeah, "Are you there, Jimmy?" <laughs> uh, oh, he's gone. I didn't hear him sneaking up on me. <laughs> oh, they got me. Ugh. You didn't tell me to turn around. You said I need cardio. <laughs> Open your ears, OJ. You heard that? Huh? I'm here. Why would you call Jimmy? I'm going to listen to this. <gasps> Wait. Shh, shh, shh. Look for the first floor store. Yeah, you have to near the stairs. Oh, he did. He stole it from you. When, you. when he kills you, he steals shit from you. Oh, that's right. Down here. Why are you summoning him? Why are you taunting Jimmy? He's going to kill you now. I hear something. God damn it! <laughs> that was not the time! Who was it? Fucking duck. I don't hear anything. So you have to be safe. Nothing can go wrong now. Let me see. Go get your spirit box back. <clears throat> oh, he's got my spirit box? Yeah, he stole your spirit box. Did he steal everything? No, he stole your spirit box. And my... What's to the right? No, go back. Forward. Left. You went in there? Oh, 
Okay, this sword. is a sword room. Okay. All right. Come on, Jimmy. You want to get nuts? Let's get nuts. This way. Because I want to hear footsteps. Oh, God, I just scared myself. <laughs> this is a bad idea. I think I already took the sword. I was waiting for his fucking bald ass head to peek around the corner. Oh, God. Is, is this not the first floor? Oh god! I hear him. <laughs> it's not helping right now. He's got a... Uh, I'm an idiot. Why did I do that? Yeah, why did you call him? I don't know. I don't know. Are you coming? Open the other drawer. Is there another drawer to open? Yeah, I already looked in both of them. This is a dead end. If he's coming, you're fucked. I can hide in the bathroom. Probably. <laughs> <clears throat> Our Jimmy, we're not going to be streaming for that long today because we had other stuff to do, but... and We would, normally, but... No need to panic, okay? I'm cool as a cucumber. Press the wrong button. <laughs> I am terrified. Oh god, oh god, oh god, where's Nick? Where's Nicholas Cage when you need him? Yeah, I already looked in all these rooms. I hear him. What's that, Art Jimmy? Huh? Are you outside, Art Jimmy? <laughs> uh, the sour ones aren't really my favorite. Mm -mm. Sour is not really my thing. Oh, shit. I hear him. Thank you. CD Projekt Red gave this to me. It's my badge of honor. Oh, God. All right. He's not here. No need to panic. Oh, he's around the corner. You're right. It's completely safe. What? Everything's safe. Don't worry about it. Well, he would, like, peek, right? No. Chair scared me. I keep hearing voices. I know it's not the game. He's still okay. That was a... oh god, oh god, no, I went the wrong way. <laughs> Run! Oh god, I'm panicking. Oh god, this is oh, I'm dead. I'm you dead. I'm dead. I'm fucking dead. <laughs> oh god, don't come in here. Don't come in here. He's out there. <laughs> oh, God. As because I heard Joe. I was like, oh, that's him. Then I heard the game. And then I saw a shadow. And I'm dead. I'm... Oh, God. There's no people. Can I make a people? <laughs> Get your item back. You heard that, right? Or what? Okay, I don't, don't. Oh, God, don't do it, don't do it. All right, I'm going to book it. I'm going to fucking book it. You already did. 
What? No, not, not the reservation. I mean, like, I'm fucking take off. Wait, I have the key. I thought I had the key. This is not the first floor. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm gonna fucking die. Get off this floor. Just get off the floor. Have been in here? I don't fucking remember anything anymore. <gasps> Holy shit! There it is, guys. We got it. We won. Oh! That's not me. That's not me. Oh, God. <laughs> I was like, wait. Oh. Shh. Everyone hold your breath. Hold your fucking breath. He's hiding in the room. the other drawer. I am. I was just panicking. Can I use it on myself? I'm going to use it on him. Fuck that. Thanks, Twitch Joe. But I think, Twitch Joe. I think, you make, I think you're lying. Yeah. Very <laughs> wise. We watch jujitsu. How wise is that? Mm. Krish. Stop it. Wait, was that a shadow? I don't know if that was a shadow. OJ, look for him in the shadows on the ground. OJ's already afraid of all the, the, the fake shadows. <sighs> oh! Nope, nope, nope. Alright, he's at the left. So I'm going right. Better Dan! I don't know if you missed it. Um, you said you were making macaroons. But I, I, you were referring to the other ones. Coconut ones. Yes. Actually, Alex bought some of the other ones that I Macaron. wanted. Macaron. Those were amazing. Mm -hmm. but you, should make the, you should make those. Well, we're going to start you off on much simpler nope. things than macaron. Although it's, not, it's, it's a fairly simple recipe. It's just there's a lot of technique. I'm great at technique. The most important thing in the beginning, um, so you don't get rough. Have you ever had mac macaron that are real rough on the outside? It's because people aren't sifting their almond flour. You really have to sift it. Otherwise, you get too much chunkies. And then you put a clean fan near them after you've piped them for 45 minutes to an hour so they develop a skin. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. No, 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 no. Get the fuck out. Oh, Get the fuck oh, out. God. You're going to die. Okay, going this. Oh, God. Press the wrong button. <laughs> this is scaring me. I don't like this clicking. I don't like this clicking. Yeah, Alex knows everything. I know. <laughs> Ooh, me. He's gonna come get you in here, and this is a dead end. Well, I, I could hide. Emphasis on dead. I could hide though. Yeah, one place. He's not gonna. He's gonna open the door and be like, oh, he no, can't idiots open the in door. The closet. What? Why can't he, he open the door? That's what the thing said. The rule said he can't open the door in the bathroom. He can open this door, but he can't open the other door. I don't like this, Alex. Mm. It's one of my favorite pastries. What is it? Pain o chocolate. Pain o chocolate. You know what? It's like a croissant filled with chocolate. Jimmy? It's amazing. Why would you do that? Oh shit, that was the wrong one. <laughs> Why? Oh, yeah. That way I know where he's at. Yeah, on top of your ass. <laughs> oh. 
I'm waiting for him to fucking walk across. Just, that's the point of the game. You like, you call him. That way you see him. He's like, oh, right, she's walking back. That was a bad idea. This was a dead end. Why would you make me do that, Alex? You stress me out for no reason, Alex. I just bought a bunch of croissants for this weekend. Croissants? Yeah. Fig jam. I've got some good strawberry preserves. Should get Ooh. some bagels, too. All right, here we go. Let's get crazy. I'm big on breakfast foods. I think they're some of my favorite foods. I like the croissant sandwiches. Yeah, those are very good, too. Uh, bagels, cream cheese, little smoked salmon, capers, thinly sliced red onion. Oh, perfect. Eggs Benedict, also great. Biscuits and gravy is something we do a lot of on the weekends. Big pot of coffee, though. The morning paper and uh, a bunch of croissants. Like, Not a big fan of coffee. Yeah, you, I mean, you're wrong, but whatever. You you drink enough stouts and you'll start liking coffee because you like the roasted flavor. I drink a lot of stouts, but I still don't like it. it's too. Okay, it's got to be in here then. I think it's in here. Let's try it. Hello. Hey Joe, you want to play a zombie game? <laughs> I was like, wait a minute! They use my voice for this yeah. game. <laughs> That's incredible. That was great timing right there. <laughs> I was like, hey, nobody paid me for this fucking voiceover. <laughs> Is someone there? That's a sexy man right there. <laughs> I guess this is not the same room. Oh, God. I, too, live on biscuits and gravy. Oh, shit! I'd fucking run, dude. That's the towards him, isn't it? Oh god! Where are you going? Oh god! Go right that here. is actually towards him. Oh man, we gotta play Godfall. I don't want to play Godfall. Probably, we'll probably do something for Godfall, but I don't want to. <laughs> After Call of Duty, the next angry review is Cyberpunk, and then we'll see if we do Godfall after that. <laughs> that was perfect. Thank you, Shadow. <laughs> Hello? You wanna play zombie game? <laughs> I'm me. No, I'm you. Valhalla is yes. getting a rapid fire review. It's, it's not getting fire. a full angry review. Spider Man and Call of Duty are full angry reviews. Legion and Valhalla were rapid fire reviews. That's four videos hey, Joe, for you, you guys. Fuck, man. He went this way. Wait, no, the ghost is back here. All right. My, no, where, where's the ghost? I think it's back over here. No, 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 no. Hey, did you know you need to find a scrying mirror? What? Some quick, someone look up where the scrying mirror is and tell OJ where it is so he can start playing this game. 
I am playing the game. This is point of the game. Yeah, but you've been like. The <laughs> ah! <laughs> I didn't hear him. He sounded far away. Wait, will I die twice? Go ahead. You only, you only die twice. <laughs> it's a good movie. <laughs> Damn it, he took my box. I didn't hear him. And he went to the other side, though. Uh, he took your spear box again. I know. You still have your compass, though. At least that's good, right? Um, maybe stop calling him. Is OJ yes. going to be hooked up to the heart rate monitor This again? was just like a short stream just to... Ooh. <laughs> Fucking thing scared me. I don't want to pee me. That's not going to do shit. Oh, God. Yes, uh, like I was saying. That looks creepy. Have you been uh, here before? We, we, uh, I don't think so. We are going to, but this is just a... A little shorter one because we were doing filming. You haven't been in these rooms yet? You're... I would hide in the armor and wait for Jimmy to come by and fucking slice his ass. Oh, nothing to see here but a night. How about a good night? Whoops. Jimmy's dead. If the mirror is in here and it's been in here the whole time, I don't know. I even. Mean... It probably is. Yep, makes sense. I found it. Yep. Game over, right? Yep. <sighs> Ooh. Now the fun begins. Yeah, it's your turn. Go ahead. One spirit Jimmy box and the spirit box are on the first floor. Jimmy took my spirit box. The motherfucker's in the first floor. Got it. Oh. Trapped in the closet. That's not the. Uh, that's not the door I wanted to hit. This is. So you you started at 106. It was literally in the door, the room next to you, when you started the game. Who said that? I said that. I don't believe it. You started in 106. I don't it believe it because I don't. I, I don't remember seeing the which one got it. I'm glad you like the the rapid fire. If you like that one, there's another Ubisoft rapid fire coming it next is week. Like that. Valhalla. Ooh, trophies. You found a second scrying mirror? I did. Um, I have, there's at least two parodies for Valhalla. I don't know how many more beyond that, but. That's a red fire. It was, doesn't need to be. Yeah. Anymore. I mean, they're supposed to be short, but. No. What? Hey. <laughs> I gotta do it, Alex. Oh, okay. He's like, hmm, she summoned me from this dead end, so she's got to be in one of these rooms. So I'm going to thoroughly search. And now we wait to ambush him. His fool won't know what hit him. Actually, it's going to be me that's going to get hit. 
So, OJ, got a cooking question for you. I got a flank steak I'm currently marinating in a roasted red pepper and garlic sauce. Do you think it would be better? Oh, God! <laughs> to grill it or slow cook it? Uh, I would say microwave it. Alex, what's your take? Uh, I typically grill. Flank steak is better uh, <laughs> cooked quickly. <laughs> See, there you go. Doc, That's why Doc, it's used Doc in things knows. like fajitas so often, and it's because it grills beautifully. So. Yeah, if you want to grill it and fucking waste an hour, go ahead and grill it. But if you want to eat it, five minutes. Grill it. Put it in, <laughs> Put it in the microwave, five minutes. It, it. I took OG's advice. Profit. It always works, yes. You put 230, flip it, 230, bam, done. <laughs> G-Dolo 7, man, with the, the, the knockies. <laughs> Run! <laughs> Ugh, get the fuck out of here. Nah, he's, he's probably going to be somewhere. Here. Well, you always have to microwave something with the spoon in the food just to make sure it heats evenly. That's mm -hmm. OJ's. That's what OJ says. Nobody likes cold soup unless it's cereal. You think cereal classifies as a cold soup? Yep. <laughs> oh, God. I'm, I'm honestly fucking... Oh, no. I hear him. Okay. Hide. I think every time you hear him, you're supposed to hide, right? Because that's how the motherfucker kills Oh, I me. do make collard greens. I love collard greens. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Got it. So when you hear him, hide. Is hot dog a sandwich? Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. And pop tarts are ravioli. Mm -hmm. They're just dessert ravioli. Exactly. Yep. All right. He went to the left. I'm going to the right. Oh God! Hoagie is a sandwich, so technically it's a sandwich. So when you're making greens, like collard greens or something like that, or spinach, wilted spinach, take uh, um, what the Italians always use. They always grate a little nutmeg over it, um, and it really helps. It really kind of brightens everything up. Vichyssoise, cockaliki. <laughs> People should eat more greens. Collard greens, mustard greens, even chard. Delicious. <laughs> Doing the Japanese traditional Thanksgiving behind KFC. Hey, nothing wrong with that. No, oh, God! Celebrate in whatever way that you want. That door's locked. <laughs> Man, everyone wants to know what life path we're going to choose. Probably need a street kid first. But I don't know. You should never use nutmeg, ground nutmeg, for anything. It goes bad really quickly, or it just goes stale. You can buy a nutmeg. Oh, you God. can buy a little nut, and you just shave it as you need it, and it'll last you for fucking ever. Not forever, for a long ass time. Prime rib. Uh -oh. I'm making turkey. Is it in here? No. Where is it? What are my favorite meals? But this is a spirit thing. It's all um, about spirit. I think my right? favorite meal is probably brunch, second breakfast, elevensies. Tea's good too. Um. But I like breakfast, dinner, supper. Fourth meal, too. Mm. <laughs> Any meal. Favorite sides for Thanksgiving? <coughs> I make... Every year I make a sausage and cornbread stuffing. Mashed potatoes. 
Um, I always do sweet potatoes as well. I thought it was going to be there fucking killing me. I was like, oh, God, I'm dead. You're already on the first floor. Okay, so I'm in... <laughs> oh, God! No! <laughs> I just said that! Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, you son of a bitch! <laughs> you got me, Jimmy! <laughs> you got me! I need a break, Alex. You mean you need a break? Over. My heart can't take it no more. <laughs> I was like, ah, oh, I thought he was going to get me. Ooh, this is a scary game. Boom, <laughs> dead. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Never lost. <laughs> hey, the game's not over. Look, I may get knocked down like Rocky a lot of times, but I got heart. I'm going to keep getting up, all right? <laughs> At the end... Rocky won. These are boxing rules. I'm going 20 rounds. <laughs> you, you don't use that at all. You don't use the keyboard at all for anything? Nope. <laughs> Where are the stairs? I have no idea. I was running in circles and getting scared. <laughs> Lonzo Joe Ball. <laughs> I, I wish they picked up Jason instead of Lonzo. I'm so mad at that. Is this the stair? <laughs> oh, God. Yes, I have seen bad taste. Oh, Jimmy, thank you so much for that donation. A little too late for that. Behind you! <laughs> Why are you removing all the raisins, Zero? From what? From his uh, trail mix. I mean, you're removing the raisins. See, because I was trying to go to that. Oh, he took the compass? He took the compass and the spirit mirror, I think. What? Is it not here? I don't know how to access it. Oh, you, well, maybe once you're outside? I don't know. <coughs> don't like eating them? What? Then why are you fucking buying trail mix? It's like I'm scraping all the jelly out of this peanut butter and jelly sandwich I made. It's like, oh, but why? <laughs> Kids today, don't eat raisins. Tell them, Bitter Dan. Tell them. You know what the best part about my, my rum raisin bread pudding is? I'll, get, I'm, I'll, I'll let you guess. The bread. It's pretty good bread. <laughs> it's pretty good bread. But it's the rum raisins because you soak them in <laughs> rum, and it's fucking delicious. Hey, <laughs> Fleet Admiral says it's a short trail. <laughs> Yeah, he uses a whole bottle of rum. It's delicious. You don't eat that much rum. No. You you eat one slice of bread, you are drunk, son. <laughs> you don't soak the bread in the rum. But that's the best part. Then you grab... See, what you want to do, you want to get some... Uh, what do we do? Oh, tell me. I'm, I'm curious. What are you doing? Rum, raisin, bread. Okay, you buy some raisin bread. You use a whole bottle. And you, like, put it in a little container. You soak the bread... For like a day. In what? And in, in, in a bucket with rum. And then after that, you pull out the bread and you use a hair dryer and dry it out. After that, I mean, how, you're ready to go. Joe's Gaming Room, thank you so much for your resubscription of 25 months. Oh, what'd you Where's do? 106? You blocked it. I don't know what you did over here. <laughs> okay, so there's 107. <laughs> hey, what's up? What's up, OK? And Alex? What's up, OK? It's OK. I forgive you. Hopefully you mean me. <laughs> or 
or you just want to say hi to Alex. That's fine. What the hell did you... Oh, God! He's around! Hide! Hide in the bathroom. Look at the peephole first. I don't look at the peephole. Look at the peephole. See if he's oh. coming. What the hell did you just cook? I just cooked some raisin rum bread. Rum raisin bread. One of those. <gasps> he's watching you. Bill, 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 bill. I love bread pudding. I love it. I also love rum ham. I don't know. Alex never wants to go work out with me. It's true. Rum, raisin bread pudding, <laughs> creme anglaise over the top. I would have ventured to say Alex just loves rum. I do love doesn't? rum. doesn't? I do love rum, but I can make it without rum and still be fucking amazing. <clears throat> yeah, he doesn't check the closets. He doesn't check the bathrooms. Where the fuck is, is room 105, 101, 105, 106? Because that's where all this shit is. Is it over here? Turn this way. Oh shit, he's after you. I know, I don't give a shit. You about to get knocked the book out. You're about to get knocked the book out. Are you playing? I'm too intimidated to work out with OJ. It's true. I do like rice pudding. Also, with rum raisins. I think raisins and rice pudding goes together. I don't typically Samurai pudding. Queen, which one? White rice or Spanish rice? Pudding? Yeah. <laughs> you could make a Spanish rice pudding. Bam! You could. Put mole on it. Amazing. Put you know what mole is? Yeah, I know what it is. <laughs> yeah, I know what it is. What is it? I don't like it. It's just not my type of thing. There's like 500 different variations oh, of mole. Well, the generic Mexican one. I yeah, know. they're all Mexican, but... It's a fucking weird-ass thick red sauce thing. It's know. red or brown. Yeah. yeah, it's a chili sauce that's typically made with sesame seeds, sometimes peanuts, sometimes chocolate, but very rarely chocolate. Because everyone's chocolate. like, Everyone's like, oh, mole is a chocolate sauce. It's like, no, very few moles have chocolate in <gasps> Is that him? Or, oh, oh, no. Okay. Most moles don't have chocolate in them. I'm never big. I actually, no, I don't. I, I usually do a turkey mole <coughs> after Thanksgiving, but I won't have enough leftovers this year. A year. What is that? What's that room right there, behind you? Ha! Oh god! <laughs> All right, I died your turn. Way I love go. Ethiopian food. Like, I seriously, no, I do love... No, I took everything! We have really good Ethiopian restaurants here in Austin. Room 106. Are we in room 106? Yeah, so room... You want to go to room uh, 105. That's where one of the... Uh... Wrong one. Yeah, most moles don't have chocolate in it. Bill Nye's I mean, they're serious. good, but like, you can make mole with chocolate in it. So you need to find room 105. I don't think this is it, because it's starting to come up, so go okay, that way. Yeah. It's this way. Let's try but it's not way. that way. Well, let's see. That's nope. By the suit of armor. You need to go find yourself the suit of armor. You ain't gonna know where that is. I've been fucking running. Oh, 106. That's where you started. That's You just God literally just came from there. Didn't you? Well, look to the right. And look at one of these drawers. Maybe it's in that. Yeah, the places out here do the unlimited, like, really delicious, spongy Ethiopian bread. It's so good. What's that door? That one's locked. 
Basically, I like sushi. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm gonna go in here. One one. Indira, yeah, yeah. Samurai Queen, yes. I'll check it out today. Scout's Honor. Yeah, that drawer. Right what there. is it? It was never Scout. It's this one. It's not. That's Love Long and Prosper. I was, yeah, I was like, isn't that Star I think Trek? this is Scout's Honor or something like that. You already have a scroll mirror? Why can't I get that one? The, you he need to took find your it compass? from me. I thought you needed to find a compass. Well, he took it from me. Why can't I get that one? I can have another one. So you don't have a <laughs> compass. You do have a scrying mirror. So look in your scrying mirror then. I, I don't have it. He took it. You can only it. use it in the dark though. You're not in the dark. Which way did I go? Wait. So that's 101. Uh, I'm fucking lost again. <coughs> no, I, I did. I need to go this way. It's this way. There it is. Let's just check these rooms. We're already here. No, and then now you, it's dark in here, so use the mirror. You clicked the wrong thing. I thought I clicked the... Oh, what was that? Bad guy. Mayo and ice cream is fire. In a booty hole or what? That wouldn't try that. Who, what are you talking about, booty hole? He said, mayo and ice cream is fire. Yeah, one, two, that's gross. Mm -mm. I don't know, I think he's coming. All right, look. Um, no, what, no. Why does they leave this room? Turn around. Now, cl now click it. It won't let me. Oh, okay, I don't know. <coughs> Look, I'm a mayonnaise fan too. Homemade mayonnaise, delicious. Even store bought mayonnaise is fun. I hear you. We already played Vampire the Masquerade. You mean again? Play it twice? Man, that's. If we run like truly run out of games to play, then sure, I'm down. Oh, I love shit. that game. We got shit ton of games to play. I would love to see OJ do a Nosferatu run. <laughs> How does one make homemade mayonnaise? Mayonnaise is typically just an emulsion of eggs and oil. Um, typically, uh, maybe a touch of, of acid. Use a casserole. So if you Best use, one to use Squeeze a lemon juice, pinch of salt, pinch of pepper into some eggs, t typically just egg yolks. And then you slowly drizzle in some oil, like very slowly drizzle in oil while heavily whisk whisking. You make some homemade mayonnaise. Oh, fudge, am I supposed to go? I heard a step. Me too. That's what I'm watching. Ow. No, not yet. I'm going to try that. Uh, we've got like late for horror times. games. Um, best time to play horror games is late at night. The best one to use for the mayonnaise is uh, 10W30. Yeah. Because it makes it nice and thick. Man, everyone wants OJ to play do a Malk run. Like, the Malk fans are so insane about, like, every Malk's the best. It's like, yeah, well, yeah I guess, but... <laughs> Will I just get to seduce the soup can lady? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do I make my own may mayo for the AJ OJ? Uh, that is going to cost you extra, unfortunately. Did I do these Your already? Your friend's God, wife everything? hates mayo. Um, she's got... No. There, there's no flavor in mayonnaise that is strong enough for anyone to hate mayonnaise. 
they have like this weird psychological aversion to it, and that's fine. You, you're allowed to not like something. But it's not like fish or onions that have like a strong texture. Like they hey. probably just don't like the flavor, of the um, the texture of it, or the fact that it's when it comes down to like food lube. Hey, you got a compass. Miracle Whip is disgusting. How I come you don't have Miracle your compass then? Where's your uh, compass? He took it. You just found it. It's in the drawer. But that's the second one. Because kind of like my mirror that I have. I have the mirror. I have the compass. Maybe you just... Oh, he, oh, God. Maybe you only have to find your thing and then I'm everything here. else. Why would you do that? Because I need to find out where the fuck my OG shit is. OJ likes Miracle Whip. I do like Miracle Whip. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Return. Is tangy butthole. It's tangy, but not butthole. <laughs> <laughs> because I wanted, well, I thought he was going to come in here and then I would see him take off to the left and that way I could go to the right. Wait, that's left. That's right. I'm fucking, I'm lost. <laughs> Farting in circles. Cool Whip? Yeah, Cool Whip is amazing when you use on sandwiches. You've tried it? Cool Whip is sweetened whipped grease. You guys know that? Hey, Grove, thank you so much for those beans. It's whipped grease with sugar in it. That's what Cool Whip is. I mean, I'll eat it. I'm not opposed to it, but, I mean. I heard you, Jimmy. If you didn't know, that's what it is. <laughs> no, I, I'm i trying to, like, call him out so he can take off to one direction so I can go to the other direction. This is not how you're supposed to play the game, right? I prefer real whipped cream to cool whip, but, again, I'll, I'll eat both. Oh, I'm fucking lost now. What's, what room is this one? Go to the stairs. Oh, I saw you, motherfucker! No! No! Oh, no! Why I, would you? I misclicked. I was trying to turn around. I was trying to turn around. God damn it, Jimmy! Like, I was trying to do that. See, I was trying to do that thing, and it, like, I I got. Go get the thing. Dead end. <laughs> Jimmy's a new green. No, <laughs> no. Oh God. This should be on Discord. See, I'm trying to turn around. What are you talking about? What do you mean? No, follow the sign. Follow the green sign. It tells you where what the stairs it? are. Oh, okay. There it is. I think you mean like back. How do I feel about Scrapple? I mean, it's not my favorite thing in the world to eat. I'll eat it. Can you use the elevator? No, 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 no. You have to find your thing first. He's gonna kill me! <laughs> I panic. What? Where'd the compass come from? You've always had the compass. Apparently he doesn't steal the compass. You just have to go back to the storeroom. There's some people with strong feelings for this miracle over here. <laughs> right? Okay, 
There's a storeroom not too far away. Right so, no. That's the bathroom. I haven't been in here. Oh, can't go in there. No, oh god. <laughs> go in there. No! Oh god. Oh Whoa. god, oh god! <laughs> Left. There. There. I get your Give my shit, Jimmy. Stop stealing. Klepto. We don't have... Do we have Hellman's here? Or are we... Because ha half the country is Hellman's and half the country is... Oh, uh, they said Hellman's. I was like, man, we got a shit foods? ton of Hellman's. <laughs> it's like yes, Carl's Jr.'s and Hardee's. Not my thing. I like Miracle Whip better. No, well, we, I mean, we do have Dukes here, but. Mayonnaise brands are split. Wait. What? what, what? Is someone there? Is anyone there? Is anyone there? Oh, shit. All right. Mayonnaise is just eggs and oil. Like, if you like eggs and oil, it's fine. It doesn't taste like anything. It's important for the structure of food. Also, it, it allows fat-soluble flavors to you know, shine in a sandwich. Is anyone there? Like, if you don't put... Have you ever had a, a burger that there? someone made at their house... And it, the bottom bun turns into a nasty, soggy, gummy mess. All you do is put a little mayonnaise on the top of that. It's like food weatherproofing. It's perfect. All right, go to second floor. Second, third floor. Yep. All right. All right. This is gonna be my last death because I ain't gonna fucking die. You will, you will make me laugh. All right. That's cool. I'm in. Show me your jokes. I have the compass. We have the compass. We have it. If you do olive oil on a bun, I mean, it's exactly the same thing. You're only an egg yolk away from doing exact, making your own mayonnaise on the bottom of the buns. I thought you were going to tell a joke or something. Mm -hmm. You're only a yolk away, huh? <laughs> okay. Be here all night, guys. Actually, I won't. There's shit to do! Mm, make your own mayonnaise. It's really easy in the food processor. Where are you? I have no idea. QP mayo is fucking delicious. People who don't like Miracle Whip wouldn't like it because it's tangy. I like the tang. Well, you like QP mayo. It's like normal mayo, but it's from Japan, so it's expensive. How expensive? It's like twice as expensive as normal mayonnaise. It's like seven bucks a bottle? Yeah. It's in the... Asian aisle of your grocery store. <laughs> Is someone there? Yes. Is someone there? Who's there? <laughs> Hello? Hello? I mean, if you can deep fry ice cream, you can deep fry mayonnaise. Easy. I could do it. I won't, but I could. Is someone there? Is someone there? 
Oh god. Is anyone there? I don't like the howling. It's scary. Want the wind blowing? Is anyone there? Hmm. Is anyone there? Yeah, I mean, you can always go talk to the ghost girl and see if you know what. Downstairs. Whose paddle is this? Me mums. Your mum. Is someone there? Is someone there? Is someone there? I'm the only one in this house that likes avocados because these two fucks are wrong. I'll put avocados in anything. Delicious. Uh, anything? Anything. Avocado smoothies, Vietnamese avocado smoothies. Fucking Peanut butter delicious. jelly sandwiches? Sure, I'll put an avocado on them. Why not? Oh, you nasty! Fucking love avocados. Just cut in half with a sprinkle of salt and I'll eat it with a spoon. Now, let's try the ground floor then. Avocado toast doesn't suck. It's the fact that assholes try to charge $15 for avocado toast is what sucks. A one dollar avocado and ten cent toast should never equal fourteen dollars. Karen's fucking white women ruining everything. Wait, this wasn't it. Go back to the. Well, I guess you can try asking questions here, but go uh, in where you saw her, in. right here, and see if you can hear her better. I need to get better reception over here. Oh. Is someone there? Okay. Nope. How much healthier is cottage cheese than any other kind? Um, is someone there? I mean, it depends. Is it like cottage cheese made of skim milk? Then it's fine. I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of cottage cheese. I wouldn't eat it anyway. Is anyone there? You know where she is. Is anyone there? She's in front of the elevator door. Hey, <laughs> don't you want me to zombie game? Is anyone there? Can you hear me now? Hello. Is it Amy? Yeah, Why is there a blood stained cloth in one of the drawers? Do you think she had tuberculosis? <laughs> Where did the wooden paddle come from? Mommy's into some kinky shit. <laughs> I don't know. Where did the bottle of diazepam come from? A what? <laughs> I don't know. I found some trophies. Who won them?
Who did the chef's hat belong to? Damn it! Amy's fucking useless. God damn it, Amy! I need answers now! Jimmy's trying to kill me. I'm just trying to get the fuck out. Almond milk versus soy milk? I mean, I have almond milk at home. I don't do soy milk. Like almond milk. It depends on how much of those plant estrogens you want. the fuck is my mirror? I thought you have your mirror. No. Oh, now I can't. Yeah, I told you, you need dark place. Yes, he beat me. Amy! That's not Amy. That's a little boy. Oh. That's the evil little boy drawing evil shit. I was already there. Let's go back down there. <laughs> oh, you know where. You know where they came from. Someone there? There's a little boy. <gasps> so thing is Amy. Spirit is too distant. Try moving closer. How about you stop moving? Is someone there? So Amy has been asked about what? One of those things, so. So like this tells you, yeah, this one, right? This I one. already asked her about this. But you'll click to ask Amy about this, it hasn't shown. I already asked about those. So if she responds, it tells you what the answer response was. Turpentine and the lighter. What were they for? Burning this bitch down. I didn't know what they were until Jimmy showed me. I think I already asked her about everything else. Chef's hat. I asked her, she said, I don't know. Who did the chef's hat belong to? So now it says Amy didn't have an answer for Chef's hat. I don't know. I don't know. It could be bugged. I yeah. saw some suitcases in a chest. Who did they belong to? We already did ask about the child's purse. Yeah, she said it's hers. Will it even let you ask again about it? Mm 
It's a red purse of mine. Didn't have an answer. What in the world? Alright, Amy, you're useless to me now. What was that? Ghost. Can you click on the locks? <laughs> or you're clicking on the wrong thing? No. Nope. Not the one that's open? <gasps> What's that? Damn it! But you can't click. I don't know. Nope. But. Nope. stream for a while but uh this tonight is going to be a shorter stream you have to prepare for we, we did a lot of work today already and then we've yep. got i've got to do a bunch of cooking tonight yeah and then tomorrow so we'll end soon but join us most of the time we stream for like six to eight hours time. same angry channel same angry time Is someone there? Who's there? See, I don't know where that arrow is going. It's spinning in circles. Kitchen. It's definitely in the kitchen. Let's try this. Hello? Hello? Is someone there? Can't move closer in here or anything? No. I'm definitely not frying a turkey. No, he's going to boil it. Microwave them boiled. No, Book, no yeah, way. best way to do it. Sprinkle some salt on that shit. Then you're good. I do not subscribe to HelloFresh. Is someone there? Anyone? Is anyone once. there? Oh, you could try the mirror in the, the <gasps> kitchen maybe because it's oh, dark in there? Okay, yeah, good call. <clears throat> Hanging out with the family, eating some turkey. So Jimmy is on. Who's that? That's a boy, right? Yeah. Is that a little boy or a little girl? I don't know. I don't know. I thought that was Amy. You said, no, it's not. It says LG. Cling. Is it telling me to go there? Because I already went there. No, nothing fancy. Turkey, stuffing, a couple times potatoes, rolls, cranberry <laughs> sauce, two types of pie. Mm -hmm. Pepe Sylvia, Pepe Sylvia, there's no Pepe Sylvia. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, nobody's been getting their mail. <laughs> Maybe try it. Is anyone there? Go back to LG and try to that purse again? What? Is it bunk or something? Pervert! <laughs> 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 no! I'm a dirty sweat. little pervert! It's a uniform! <laughs> I was like, wait, that's the wrong radio station. <laughs>
Shadow Warrior as a mystery. Is someone there? Hello? Is it Amy? It was for my birthday, but it was stolen. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right. But I have it. This is add to pair. Pa what? We meet? What? This is add to pair. You drag it somewhere? No. Did you right click it? No. Left click it. I did. Nothing. Spacebar. They combine that. What? What? It's some um, so spinning. Damn it! What did I press? <laughs> oh no, it's something else. Okay. Um. Well. We suck. Is it Amy? Yes, I'm Amy. How do we combine clues, though? And then you click on something else? Oh, so now go no, click on it, find a different clue, and click on it. I don't know. That one that was stolen. What do we know about something that was stolen? Um, this one was hers right here. Sure. Okay. Okay. All right. Now what do you... So you have to click on that, because it... Okay. So now how do you ask that? How many can I pair? This the siding? Oh, the girl in the basement plus the purse? I didn't even know that was a clue. Okay. When you said Jimmy stole things from you, ah. is that connected with what you said about the purse? The tutorial should have been way more... Sp Uh, okay. Yeah, is it? Is someone there? And she's gone. <laughs> Fucking Jimmy is an asshole. God damn it, our Jimmy. Why are you taking kid, uh, money from little kids? Down here. You can't come down here. It's right beach. That's where I could call him out. This way. Jimmy? Jimmy's scared of the basement. What a loser. <laughs> I don't know. Are we not done here? I don't know. She said Jimmy took her money. Go to the mirror. Go somewhere dark. I was trying to, but there's nowhere dark here. Okay. 
That's what I was looking for too, for a spot for the mirror. Is it me you're looking for? Or are you just dancing on the ceiling? No, I'm dead. That wasn't open before. Right? Go so look at it. Check it out. That's Jimmy. I don't want to go in there. It's scary now. Oh, God! <laughs> cool. Now talk to her about it. Is it Amy? Yeah. I'm Amy. Now talk to her about... I want to talk to you about where to go. No. no. This and this. No. Okay, exciting. Got it. Wait. Wait, can I do that one? No. I saw you shouting to Jimmy to give your toy back. Uh, uh, no, Why no. did he take it? It's not funny. What you said about Jimmy stealing your toy, does that have something to do with the blood-stained cloth? Damn it! Boo! What about... No, to clean it, because he ruined it, right? And so what about the turpentine, or the cloth? The cloth, and... The well, he said, I didn't know what it was for until Jimmy showed me, right? How about the turpentine and then Jimmy stealing from Amy? What you said about Jimmy stealing your toy, does that have something to do with what you said about the turpentine and lighter? Jeez! someone there? Uh, you left me. I could just go to any dark room, right? You're in the kitchen again. Or there. <coughs> Damn it. Damn it! It's not dark enough? It's not dark enough for you. No. Apparently not. Okay. 
back to the kitchen. Last one, chat, because I gotta go to the store before my mom kills me, because I forgot to pick up something for tomorrow. <laughs> you know, crazy. The store I be know. Right She's gonna yell at me. <laughs> I, I actually did. <laughs> she, what's that? Uh, that carnation one. The evaporated milk for pumpkin pie. Yep. That's what I. Wait. Oh, god damn it. Or is it sweet condensed milk for something else? Wait, yeah, they're not was. interchangeable. What was it? What was it? I forgot. I was too busy thinking about... Evaporated? No. Uh, <laughs> the vision. What was the vision? The circus was poster was in the, um, the arcade, right? Okay. Well, there's clowns in the arcade. I don't know. Oh, I'm God. Paying attention. I wasn't even looking at the vision, so I have no Me idea neither. I was looking at the time. I was like, oh, God, my mom's going to kill me. <laughs> what do, percent do I usually buy my milk? 100% almond. And then some cooking with, with it, and then it depends on what it's for. Usually whole milk. I screwed myself because I, I do like, I love fucking pumpkin pies. So if I don't get it, I'm not. I, I screwed myself up. Well, it's your fault. I know, Mom. I uh, know. <laughs> that circus one? That one? I don't know. They, I don't know. They said circus. Is someone there? Is anyone there? No. Nope. Oh, was that the right circus sign, Doc? Because if it was, then you can try it right out. Yeah, right outside. Uh, so. <laughs> Alright, I got eight minutes. For reals. Let me get yelled at. Is anyone there? I will let you know if I got it on time. Is anyone there? Is someone there? Aw, oh, man. HEB ain't got... Or 7-Eleven ain't got that shit. They do. Do they? Oh god. I don't think it's that circus one. It's gotta be a different one then. No, that's not the circus one. Wait, click on it? That's that creep. Oh, wait. That's run ahead. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. Huh. Interesting. There's more yellow. Is that compass supposed to tell me, or is it just spinning in circles? Supposed to be where it goes, sir, yes. More yellow, you say. Maybe, what is this one? Oh, no, I was trying to turn around. Turn, turn around. Uh, I can't see that one. Nope. My compass is backwards. Now turn. Turn around. Turn around. Every now and then. Hey, Amy, can you tell me where this is? Because we're both going to we be in trouble. We weren't paying attention. I know. That's I already on went me. to the sword. I'm not going back. No, let's go the other way. Oh, wait. That no, was the same the one. Turn around. I, I was trying to. I keep fucking it up. <laughs> That's a lion. Left. That's yeah. the bathroom. I can't go to the bathroom. Of the bathroom. Compass isn't really updating. The <coughs> no, compass works. Right yeah, it's right this? here, right here, right here. Is someone there? Liar! 
Who's there? Hello? Hello. Fuck. Nope. Shit. Not this one. Which way did he go, George? Which way did he go? <gasps> there it is! It's that one, right? Gotta be. Hello? Hello. Is someone there? Maybe you, you just you don't find them on the spirit box. Maybe you just, you're gonna see a ghost if you keep going straight. Well, it's that uh, all right, it's pointing over here. You think it's in this room? No, up there. A bear? Yeah, I go back that room. That I think it's room. that room. Oh right! Oh god! I think it's here. Yeah, it's louder. Is someone there? Here it is. It's me, Jimmy. Is anyone there? We got louder. Your mind is going crazy. Okay, I don't right here. But we already tried it in here, didn't we? No. Let's go in this room. Maybe, Maybe one of these rooms is haunted now. That's what I'm thinking. Look. That's fucking loud. Is anyone there? <clears throat> okay. Further in the room, maybe? No. Well, the go flickering back. lights. Let's go to flickering lights. Yeah, let's try that. But you already were there. Right here. Is someone there? Is someone there? The compass is telling you to go back the other way. No! Oh. Is someone there? Alright, let's just see it again. Yeah, we should probably bring this in. Alright. Four minutes! <laughs> oh god. Oh god. You can see my ass in there. Am I dead? <laughs> okay, yeah, it was that one. Forgot about this asshole. I hear him. Go there. It's like right here. Go there again. Huh? Closer? No, I think it's here. Who's there? Hello? Because I don't think you're supposed to talk to them. I think you're supposed to see them first, right? So go forward. Right, maybe or this you room? Go that one yeah, let's try this room. Ooh, this room has poop on the floor. Hello? Is someone there? I thought it was the blood. Maybe it killed her here. It's worth a shot. Nope, nope, wrong one. Keep misclicking. Gosh! Yeah, we're definitely not going to win in three minutes. We're not trying to win in three minutes. All right, this one, right? Yes. Yeah, we'll go inside. Ghosts? Oh, God! <laughs> you fucking bitch! <laughs> Last thing I needed... <laughs> Uh, right before we ended. Uh, I came in the room like you told me. You don't need to sneak up on me. Oh, God. Uh, 
All right. Can I use this to yell at her? Is it Amy? Ugh. Yeah, it's Amy. Why got me a bitch, Amy? <laughs> Ooh, child. Anything I should ask you? Mm, I saw you. Amy holding a toy on I fire. I saw you holding a toy on fire. What happened? Sword. Two. Is anyone there? All right, so I'm about to go to level two. <sighs> well, that scared me. <laughs> All right, go. I'll close the stream out. All right, guys, I will see y'all next time. Thank you so much for hanging out with us before Thanksgiving. Hope you guys have a wonderful time tomorrow. <laughs> Love you guys. Hopefully I don't die and my mom doesn't kill me. Yeah. <laughs> you always get some tomorrow morning. Unless you're doing pies tonight. Yeah. Oh. Uh -oh. She wants to have everything ready. Oh. Uh -oh. Yeah. I <laughs> know. All right. Bye, guys. <laughs> OJ's gonna die. There you go. All the food's gone. Hmm. I don't know if the stream is over. Maybe stream is over. Could go home. Eat some food. Yeah, game game's pretty good. Um, there's some issues with you know, OJ playing it. But Hmm. Hmm. Food stream. I do like food. I'm not gonna cook with you guys. I have not finished Assassin's Creed. But I have a lot, a lot of hours in Assassin's Creed. Yo, Alex, buffalo chicken, go. What do you want, like fried chicken strips or buffalo chicken wings? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Teach us how to make turkey taste less dry. All right, that's a good question. I like that question. The USDA is an organization that was designed to protect the public from getting salmonella. Now, the USDA doesn't know shit about dick when it comes to cooking and making food taste good. And according to the USDA, poultry should be cooked to an internal temperature of like 165. And that's fucking horse shit. And so people totally hammer turkey. And so... You can't do that, especially with fast twitch muscle or white meat. You can't do it. It, it, doesn't, it doesn't work. Um, and so you can do a couple things. You can hold turkey at a lower temperature for longer. And that's why smoked turkey actually comes out really, really well. Because you can hold it at a temperature like 140 for 30 minutes. Which does the same thing. It accomplishes the same goal. Now, what's interesting about a turkey is over the millions of years that turkeys evolved... Not once did the turkeys say we should evolve in a manner that would make us easy to cook in an oven. Apparently, they, they were inconsiderate about, about that whole thing. And so, in order to cook a turkey properly where you have dark meat, you know, legs and thighs that need to be at, at a higher temperature, and then breast meat, which needs to be at a lower temperature, you can't cook it whole. Stop cooking your turkey whole. In no manner of cooking. And I do mean this. In no manner of cooking can you appropriately and perfectly cook both white meat and dark meat. It can't be done. No, there are w better ways. Like deep frying is better. Smoking is better. But you cannot cook the, this Norman Rockwell picture of, you know, them holding in this giant uncarved bird. That does not exist. Even Julia Child spray painted her fucking bird and they didn't eat it. 
So you, you can't you can't cook turkey the traditional way and have it not be dry. It just doesn't work. So you can do the simple thing and you just remove the dark meat and then you cook the white meat and the dark meat separately to the appropriate temperature and you'll have amazing white meat and amazing dark meat and then you just put it on a platter. So that's how you got to do it. Yeah, they've been lying to us. They're, like, seriously, there is a picture that no Norman Rockwell painted of this woman holding this giant uncarved turkey. And that's in that, in that, that is so ingrained in what people in the United States think of Thanksgiving that that's what everyone strives for. And it's a lie. It can't be done. So I'm like 90% done with Valhalla. Maybe 85. It'll be done this weekend. So, and then people have all sorts of terrible, terrible things. I, I know this guy. Um, it's like a, he's sort of, he's not in my family. He's in someone else's family. I've been to his house for Thanksgiving. And he's brilliant. Like, seriously, brilliant. Mechanical engineer, brilliant. And he says some of the dumbest things about cooking. Um, it's just like the, the tradition. It's like, well, my, my mom did it this way. Her mom did it this way. And her mom did it this way. And it's like if you for one second used that brain that I know works and thought about how to cook this thing, you could figure it out. Um, I'm not telling you how I like Valhalla so far. It negates the – I want you to watch my review. I'm not going to tell you now. No. I mean, I'm excited for Mandalorian Season 5, but I think, I don't know. I don't think the Jedis belong in the Mandalorian at all, in any circumstance. So I'm hoping that they don't fuck it up. I did play Odyssey, yes. Um, you should probably never put stuffing in the bird. Stuffing actually makes the turkey conundrum worse. So what you've done to this weird oddly shaped bird is you filled it with soggy bread and that soggy bread also needs to get up to 165 to not get so you don't get sick and if the if the stuffing itself is 165 that breast meat is so disgusting and dry that is why people think they don't like turkey I, I So I make stuffing every year. Well, it's stuffing. But I make it out of casserole. It's fucking awesome. <laughs> no, I don't have a cajachina anymore. No, if it's in a bag. What? See, that's the problem. So karma squab it. If it's in a bag, it keeps it all moist and hot, no basting. So that's just not true. That is not how physics works. It's not how cooking works. It's it, it's just it's one of those things that people have said for years and years and years, and it doesn't make any sense. Boiled meat is the driest, nastiest meat possible, and it's cooked in the moistest environment possible. So just because it's cooked in a moist environment doesn't mean the end product will be moist. That is not how cooking works. Meat gets dry because you raise the temperature of the protein to a point where it is literally ringing because proteins coagulate as they cook, wringing the moisture out of it. And it doesn't matter if you're steaming it. You can steam meat to 210 degrees. So it doesn't do anything putting it in a bag other than make it impossible to get crispy skin. So in addition to having dry ass meat, you're getting soggy ass skin. So I think that a bag turkey is one of the worst ways to cook a turkey. I hate it. Cooking with me segment? I don't know. I don't know. Can you say how you do stuffing? I do uh, Italian sausage and cornbread stuffing. It's super simple. It's fucking amazing. Everyone likes it. And it tastes a lot better than normal soggy bread. Because you're adding meat. And meat tastes good. Crispy skin is overrated. How dare you? <sighs> Million dollar question, fresh cranberry sauce or in a can? I fucking love canned cranberry sauce. And I know it's trash. It's, it is disgusting, weird jelly trash. 
and I fucking love it. Now, I also make really amazing orange and cranberry, fresh orange and cranberry sauce with a touch of ginger. And I really like that too, but it's not Thanksgiving to me in my mind, which is just, again, this is how I grew up. Unless there's this weird sliced, like, I want to see the can ridges. I want to see those fucking can ridges in the cranberry sauce, and it's not Thanksgiving without it. Every one of my Thanksgiving has it. Whether anyone eats it or not, I will waste the dollar. It has to be on the table. And I know it's trash, and people are like, oh, it's disgusting. Agreed. I love it. Still going to eat it. If we fry a turkey. Um, yeah, frying turkey is great. Um, it, it's still, you still suffer from the same problem that by the time... The dark meat is done. The white meat is, is a little overcooked, but because it's such a high heat environment, it cooks so quickly, it doesn't dry out nearly as bad. And so I think that if you're going to cook a whole turkey, fried is probably one of the best ways to do it. Now, I've seen people do turkey where they lower the, the, you get a really weird tan line, but you lower the turkey legs in first. Um, you actually have to dislocate the hip joints, but you drop the dark meat in first and you hold it there for a few minutes to give the dark meat a little bit of a head start. And then you drop it all the way in, but you get this really weird tan line and it's still, you'll still have a slightly overdone white meat. Yeah, it's a tan line because the dark meat's in the, the oil for longer. So it's like, re it's much darker and then it's, I don't know. Uh, should you separate the dark and white meat if you fry it? I mean, I don't know how you would accomplish that without like a fryer basket. We have beaten granny too. I beat it on my second try. Ever try injecting stock in your turkey? I've done, uh, you know, there's a lot of things that where we do like meat injections. I just don't think putting stock into your turkey is going to be one of those things that, that helps it out. Now, what you're doing is you're adding mass by injecting that, but you're technically slowing the rate at which the white meat can rise in temperature because the stock itself can't get over 212. But again, you're going to have kind of floppy, soggy skin for doing that, so I don't think it's worth it. What's your opinion on the air fryers? Um, I think air fryers have a purpose. It, look, if you like gadgets and have a big fucking kitchen and like reheating french fries, then an air fryer is great. Um, I don't meet all those requirements. So, like my parents love air, fr my air fryer. OJ loves an air fryer. I think that it, that it it can absolutely fit into your life and you can cook all sorts of really delicious shit. It's just not for me. turkey on a wood pellet grill yeah you can do smoked turkeys amazing again you can hold the protein at a lower temperature temperature for longer periods of time um serious eats is a great resource and they did uh they actually have this chart that it actually follows the time and temperature you have to hold specific meat at in order to like pasteurize it and so instantaneous pasteurization happens at 165 but you can actually get chicken at like 135, it'll be a weird texture, but totally safe at that temperature if you hold it at that temperature for like 45 minutes. Your air fryer ends up getting food burnt. I think you're doing it wrong. I'm not, I'm not positive. I don't air fry a lot, but I think you're doing it wrong if you're burning shit. Sous vide's great. I'm actually doing sous vide turkey this year. Actually, I typically do sous vide turkey when there's a lot of, because I get a big fucking turkey, and then I can do a do it sous vide. It's always moist and juicy. What do I think about HelloFresh? If it fits in your lifestyle, like if it gets you cooking at home, and you do it for a short period of time, then there's no. And the reason I think that you should do it for a short period of time is I think it should be a stepping stone of you learning how to cook for yourself and shop for yourself and learn certain things. But you don't need to get on that plan for like a whole long ass time. Hmm? 
Do you think Kojima will ever make another Metal Gear type game? It could be. I mean, eventually, you know, Konami, Sony, they'll all figure it out and they'll decide that they want to make money and they'll do something that's a guaranteed slam dunk. I mean, the easiest... Like, what's leftover pizza? Like, you should be... All pizza is a personal pizza. You just have to, you know, try hard. All pizza is a personal pizza. Eat the whole thing. I do, I have watched America's Text, Test Kitchen. I think it's called Cook's Country or something now. But I watch a lot of their videos. OG went to go buy evaporated milk for pumpkin pie. How old was I when I started my cooking knowledge? Um... Like three. Probably three. Let's see. Let's turn that music back on. Green bean casserole, worst side ever. Um, there's some disgusting ass green bean casseroles. I've had a lot of really. Yeah, I've had some disgusting green bean casserole, so I understand where you're coming from, but I love good green bean casserole. Wow, that's loud. <laughs> you always wanted to be a butcher. It's It's really nice knowing how to butcher your own meat. You save a lot of money. I've had lots of spicy chocolate. We haven't played Demon Souls yet. We're gonna OJ. It, it, if not all three of us, we at least OJ and I will will do many streams for Demon Souls. We want to stream that whole thing. We just have, you know, with Watch Dogs and Valhalla and Spider Man and Call of Duty all getting reviews in like a two three week period. It's it's a lot of stuff we're doing. We just have to wait. Strongly dislike spicy chocolate. Oh. Okay. I love Demon Souls. I played I played the original, so. This is just random DMCA free YouTube music. Bugs Next is not gonna get a full review. It may get an impressions video or something. How do I feel about The Last of Us getting closer to Game of the Year? I mean, we knew that when it came out. Uh, that game was designed... Like, it's it's like those movies that are Oscar bait. Like, this is Game of the Year bait. It's perfectly designed for that. So, I don't... I mean, I don't, I'm not all that upset because we knew that going in. Godfall review? Uh, I don't know. It'd have to be after all the other shit we do. Never change. Yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna get any taller. I may get wider. Um, we got to a really scary part. It freaked OJ out, and then he had to go buy uh, groceries. What man? What direction do you think Mandalorian is gonna take? It depends on how much Disney wants to interfere. Yeah, we finished Black Ops. We finished the campaign. We finished... We played so much multiplayer. And then we played Zombies. So, after Miles Morales, Anger Review is out next week. We immediately start on the Call of Duty Anger Review for maybe either the, that, the following week or the, the week after. Do I think The Mandalorian will rectify the sequel trilogy? Um, no. I think we're going to try, but I don't think it's going to do it. Do I think Bo will be? Uh, Bo will be back? I mean, there's so little reason to just show him for one second. Um, but they could.
they're already trying to justify the sequels and prequels with the Mandalorian. They talk about midichlorians and Snoke clones. I've seen some Raised by Wolves. I've got other things i got to watch before I... And what is this? Like I said, this is just random DMCA free music. I'm <laughs> just clicking through some of this stuff. Dexter. Man, I never got into Dexter. So in... When did those books come out? The Dexter books came out in like the early... I don't know. I read them in the early 2000s. Yeah, early 2000s. And they were fucking terrible. Those books are terrible. Like fucking terrible. The story... The, like the, the cliff notes of the books is good. But they're fucking terrible. Like they're written poorly. And so when the show came out, I'm like, fuck this. The books are bad. Why would I watch the show? Um, and I should have done the other thing where I ignored the books and watched the show because everyone said that there's select seasons that are really good. Um, so I don't give two shits about the Dexter reboot. Hopefully it's good. People tell me it's good and maybe I'll watch it. No, I need to watch... I've seen a couple episodes of Luther. I need to watch more. I have not watched Barbarians, no. This weekend, I'm going to finish Queen's Gambit. Um, and that's like the only watching plans I've got this weekend. Ooh. I love the Great British Bake Off. Isn't the finale this weekend? Cyberpunk can't compete for Game of the Year because it didn't come out in the, the review period for the year. It'd have to have come out in November. Yeah, I'm fine with uh, Rosario Dawson playing the character. I mean, you got lucky with uh, Sackoff looking like the character anyway. You don't always do that with voice actors. Get that with voice actors. Are you kidding? Do you know what H. John Benjamin looks like compared to what Archer? Like, if they had a live-action Archer, they're not casting H. John Benjamin. They should. That'd be funny. But they're not going to. No, I haven't watched any of the Capaldi or Whitaker's seasons of the doc of Doctor Who. I stopped after uh, Matt Smith. Dude, I love H. John Benjamin, but I mean, they're not like if they're not casting him if they ever did an Archer thing. It's probably why they haven't done an Archer thing because the voice is so important. I don't think Cyberpunk is going to live up to the hype of the majority of people who play it because, well, maybe not the majority, a lot of people who play it because in their minds they have so unreasonably put it so high up on, and with expectations that it's unfair. Hope it's a good game, and that's it. Don't hope it's, like, the best game that's ever come out. That sucks. I think it's going to be great, and I think it's going to be really good, and that's all I think about it.
do I think Mace Windu is alive? I don't think it necessarily matters to the people who are in charge of Star Wars and they could do anything that they want with him. Samuel Jackson doesn't turn down money, so if they wanted him for something, he'd do it. No, I don't I don't have an NFL team anymore. All right, I think I've exhausted all of your questions. Trying to get you in the mood. Mm -mm. Forty-two. Meaning of life is forty-two. <laughs> this is Home Depot music. Dude, I love Cowboy Bebop. I fucking love Cowboy. Bebop. It, that number was adjusted for inflation and entropy already, so it's a 42. None of us are actually related. None of us at all. That was awesome. I, I have no idea. I don't. I go to the grocery store. And then I come here, and then I go home, and that's all. That I don't go anywhere. Are they still making a live-action Bebop? Fuck that. Like, seriously, fuck that. It's going to be terrible. No one wants a live-action Bebop. You know how I know that they don't want... Didn't they do a live-action Death Note? Didn't everyone love that shit? Hmm? Joe, you got a butthole right behind you. Buttholes. Yeah, we're just, we're finishing up. Typically when OJ and I stream, we answer a bunch of questions. Because people don't get to ask us a lot of stuff when we're streaming the big stuff because of review. So, we do a little Q&A before and after. Technically, most people have buttholes directly behind them. bad movie reviews with OJ. Depends on like how many bad movies come out and if they come out in a reasonable time for us to uh, you know, it, it can fit in the week's video rotation. We owe you seven dollars. No. -uh. Have I been with the show? I don't know. Uh, 
off for like four or five years or something, four years. How do I find stories for the weekly news? Uh, you read all of the gaming news websites and then uh, Bloomberg has some good columnists that you need to read, Forbes. You check out some of the other gaming news channels to make sure you haven't missed anything. It's a lot of, a lot of reading. Godfall looks bad, but I think we're still playing it. Do I like Miyazaki films? I do. <clears throat> no, we don't live together. We have played the new Spider-Man. We beat it. We just filmed the most of the review today. Hopefully should have the finished angry review for Spider-Man to you soon. Boxers or briefs? Both. Boxer briefs. You got the support for the boys without looking hey, like you're wearing a diaper. How busy a typical day? I mean, we, we do 8 to 12 hours, depends on the day. I mean, sometimes it's fun stuff, and sometimes, I mean, there's a lot of admin and emails and editing. and So... Do I ever get tired of gaming as a job? Um, yeah, I was tired of game playing Call of Duty yesterday. Like I fucking it was it was tired. Um, there it was just so, and we play it over and over and over. Like I hate playing Black Ops multiplayer right now because I hate most of the maps. Do I edge up my own beard? Uh, yeah, I mean, like, I shave myself? I do. For a long time now. Am I excited for the Harry Potter game? No. I mean, in theory, a, a, a Harry Potter RPG sounds fucking awesome. The problem is the people involved and, like, the more stories we get of, like, oh, it's not actually open world. It's going to be linear and on rails and you're not going to be able to do anything that you want to do and there's a multiplayer and... So I don't know. We'll have to see what actually comes out, and then I'll judge it then. I try not to get super excited about things beforehand because we're not – you think about games differently when your your job is to be a critic and be critical. Not unnecessarily critical, but you have to – if you allow height, go into this, this experience going, expecting everything, it can change the way that you review something, and it's not something that we should be doing as critics. Even though we're like, fa like honestly, we're f we're fake movie critics. We're f Joe's a real game critic, but I'm like a fake game critic. So, but you don't think either console is worth it? It just depends on how bad you want to play Demon Souls. Like honestly, that's like the only thing out for any of the games. I mean, Bug Snacks, a gas, everything else can be played on PC. What other games besides Cyberpunk and Medium? Phoenix Rising could be cool. It could be. I mean, they they it's it's shtick is Breath of the Wild meets Greek mythology, and I love both of those things. But it it's an Ubisoft game, so who knows? No, I'm in the studio. Just have the lights off. This is the normal misadventures room. Ubisoft doesn't always do bad things. They just had this really rough development cycle. And Ubisoft themselves addressed it. Um, they delayed all their games because they felt that all of the games coming out were samey uh, because it was the same creative lead for all of them. And that creative lead apparently is just like idea bankrupt and it was just p churning out shit, which is why Breakpoint sucked. And the writing for Legions kind of sucked. And so hopefully as they go on, they'll have more time to fix some of the things, so... No, I didn't get Age of Calamity. I'm not necessarily interested in, like, if it was actually Breath of the Wild-like content, then I'd be more interested in it, but I, I don't know. This is all Joe's house. 
Yes, Ubisoft abused their developers. Now, one thing that I will remind everybody, and this sucks, and I, I, I hate to be the person who, who brings bad news, every large company in the video game industry abuses their developers. It could be vile work. It could be harassment. It, I mean, big companies are just, they just do that. And it's not like, the sometimes it's the company culture, sometimes it's shitty managers, but every company, if you look at Glassdoor or any of the developers, they're just like, yeah, this one sucked less than that one. So. I don't think we're going to play Fallout 76's new update. Shit, I played a bunch of uh, Wastelanders because I thought we were going to do a something for it. And then Joe's like, fuck it, I don't want to play this. So I'm not going to pay for or download the new one until he tells me specific. It's just the, r the wrong time. If, if it had come out in February when there's no game releases, sure, we'd give it a shot. But there's good games that we aren't playing yet. And I'm not playing Fallout 76 before I play, you know, Demon's Souls. Bug Snacks will be uh, something we play. It's not going to be a review or anything. Like Wasteland 3 is something that we need to cover. And so I'd cover Wasteland 3 before Fallout 76. Do I think Disney would make a solid Old Republic trilogy? No. Most underrated game is Sea of Thieves. If that is true... If that is actually true, then they are at the, it's their fault. You put out a shit-tier garbage product, and everyone judges it accordingly, and then you make it better later on. It's on you to bring those people back and raise the, you know, but it's like, it's their fault for it. So I don't, I don't want to go back and play it. I, I don't care. So that sucks for them. We're going to play the new Halo for sure. Do I ever stream on my own time? I've done a couple solo streams. Um, I've had my buddy Ray come out on like a weekend, and we actually streamed from here. We played some like retro game stuff that we like to play on the weekends. I mean, it's still like AJS content, but, you know, it's stuff we wanted to do. Any thoughts on the new Halo? It looked bad. So I hope it's good. I want it to be good because I love Halo. I love the Halo 1 is like one of my favorite games, but it looked bad. No, Thanksgiving's all being done separately. I'm having Thanksgiving with me, my friend Will, who has no family in the country, uh, and, and Erica, and that's it. Oh, and Rufus, but he doesn't count. He doesn't get any turkey. Well, I'm glad you like my sarcasm. I've been told I'm an asshole. That's true, too. You want a magic stream? <sighs> I've got my magic cards in the car right now. I'd love to show you my magic cards. I'm not going to, but uh, I could. Who's Rufus? Rufus is my bulldog. He's the best. He's probably sleeping right now. Or chewing on a water roll. That's all he does. <laughs> Everything about Subnautica. So, Subnautica is a good game. But for the longest time, my opinion of Subnautica was fuck Subnautica. And it's because I had a lot of hours into the game. I mean, like 20 plus hours in the game. And my uh, file, save file, got corrupted. Can't, unrecoverable. So I was like, fuck this game. It's a stupid piece. I went back, but... Fuck. Bring Rubens to the studio. Man, well, for why? He's just gonna, he's gonna sit on a chair right here and be weird. Your favorite Zelda game. Oh, man, I have so many favorite Zelda games. No. I like Breath of the Wild. I like Ocarina of Time. I like A Link to the Past. I like the original. Mm. I know Breath of the Wild 2 is coming. I can't wait. I do prefer Paper Magic. I don't like Magic Arena as much. I mean, I, I'm probably going to have to start playing because I love magic so much, but 
It's just unfortunate. Why is Rubus not getting a turkey? Uh, I try not to feed the dog, you know, people food. I mean, if he gets anything off the table, it will be turkey. But, I, you know, you, sh you probably shouldn't be feeding your dogs too much people food if that's not part of their regular diet. I like Majora's Mask. I don't think it's my favorite, but I like it. Excited for Lord of the Rings Golem. Sure. I mean, if, maybe it'll be good. Mm. Do we have to sleep over to the studio? No, not me. We all go home at the end of the day. Excited for Mass Effect Remastered? It depends. Like, is if they if they make it a real remaster where they don't touch anything, then it could be really good. But if they try to rewrite or do anything to it, that would suck. Yeah, I played a lot of the old uh, Elder Scroll ones compared to Skyrim. I mean, they were different. I mean, the technology advanced. Like Skyrim's like the biggest and best of them. But I like I loved Oblivion. It was still fun. Tomorrow, what time? For what? I'm eating at home. There are no, no cameras. Why aren't I on social media? Why? I don't want to tell you. Uh, for what? This is my outlet to talk to people about stuff, but I don't, I don't, I don't need people. I'm not going to tweet memes. I love memes, but I'm not going to tweet them or share them or do any of that other shit. That's not, that doesn't interest me. Oh, if they had battle royales to it, yeah, that could be great. Yeah, I, don't, I also don't think social media is healthy for pretty much anybody. It's like keeping up with the Joneses arms race where people compare, you know, themselves and they always imagine the worst to other people's best or like best plus filters. And then it's just, it's. I don't think it's mentally good for people. So it's not for me. Oh, I do read it for memes, of course. Do I think Sony can sustain some of similar to Game Pass? Of course it could. It's just financially they'd have to figure it out. If I want a game made, what would a game would I want? Dude, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I used to be able to say things like, oh man, I want StarCraft 3 or I want Diablo 4 and then I played the remakes and the sequels of games that I used to love. And there's just no, there's low effort garbage. So like, I don't any, any more opportunities for people to ruin something that I loved, you know, being younger, I'm not necessarily into anymore. Fully three meat magic game. No, 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 no. Uh, am I a Pokemon player? I played Pokemon red. I still have my cartridge and I played Pokemon. Pearl. And that's it. Do I ever play the Red Alert games? Of course. All of them. Loved them. Some of them. Red Alert was my favorite. Am I playing any more games? No. If you're looking for gameplay, that's not it. I'm here for a few more minutes, maybe a couple more. Pretty much when I get tired of, of answering questions, I'm going to go home and start cooking. And that's it. Diablo 3 really let me down. I was at, I was in Miami. I was on Miami Beach. I was at a conference. Fully paid for everything, right? Like hotel, car, expense account. Everything was paid for. And so I'd work all day at the conference. And then I went back and I stayed up all night long playing Diablo 3. And I was exhausted the next day. And I couldn't believe I had wasted my fucking... I could have been doing anything in Miami Beach instead of playing Diablo 3. And instead I played that fucking game. And I chose the worst class because I was like, which doctors sound sweet? And which doctors were garbage? They were trash. I wasted that weekend playing that miserable fucking game that was just low effort shit. And it got better, but I don't give a shit. They put out something that wasn't worthy of the Diablo name. So, fuck them. Oh, and I sold all my shit at the Real Money Auction House. F 
favorite sports team? Uh, I don't know. Mm. No, yeah, Blizzard's been dead to me for years. For years. I don't know what you're talking about, pretty good. Holy water? Is this for in a game? What game do I want Naughty Dog to make? I want them to make a Last of Us 1 parallel story. You know the two brothers that you play in, uh, you, you, you meet in Last of Us? A story that takes place in that time just about the two brothers making their way and surviving. That would be that would be acceptable to me. And they go back to the original formula where dialogue feels good and you care about the characters and they act within universe and I think they could go back and they could do something that's incredible. They could. I don't think they will, but they could. I prefer PC, but I still play console games. It's fine. Is there anything you think the chat would be surprised to know you enjoy? Dude, I'm in all sorts of weird... Like, I was raised at the side of my grandmother. And so, like, I'm a, ki a child of PBS. And so, I used to watch a lot of ice skating with my grandma. It's actually what got me into cooking is watching all the cooking shows on PBS. But she taught me to knit and crochet and do needlepoint. I love to weld. I, I, I took... Any time I could take, like, a class on something or found someone who was good at something, I'd sat next to them and I learned. So I love making stuff and fixing stuff. Like I'm a tinkerer. I just rewired some of the cameras. Like some of the, the cables were broken. So just like cut them up, cut them open, rewired them, and it's like everything's fine. So I, I like that. Well, I'm glad that you like what I bring to the table, JudoCast. It's nice of you. Am I excited for Cyberpunk? Sure. I like it. No, I have no, I have no new consoles. I was trying to get one tonight, but all the bots stole all the PlayStations. <laughs> What do I hate about The Last of Us 2? Nothing. I don't hate anything about that game. I think that the game missed the mark. Um, oh man, I got shit on so bad in the comments because people don't know what the word bold is. I said that the, the story choices for The Last of Us 2 were bold. And they're like, it's not bold. Wearing a tuxedo shirt to a job interview is bold. It doesn't mean it's a good choice. It means it's, it's you know, you're trying for something big. And it is a bold decision. And I just don't think that they executed it properly. I think that there was a big divide between the gameplay direction and the story direction. In the gameplay, you have Ellie saying, talking shit as she is sniping the wolf member. She's shooting them in the face, saying stuff like, yeah, take that. And then the next scene, you're supposed to, like, she's remorseful for killing someone she doesn't know. And it doesn't make sense because there's this huge divide between the game and the story. And then there was parts to the story where I think that they kind of ignored their own lore a little bit. They ignored some of the world building from the first one. And they didn't develop some of the emotional moments well enough. And then I think that really bothered some people. So it took me down a couple points. I still think it's a good game, but I don't think it's a great game or 10 out of 10 or any of that other stuff. Yeah, and I think that they treated some of their characters inappropriately. Yeah, bold. Stupid, but bold, yeah. <clears throat> do I want Rockstar to make a pirate game? Sure, why not? You know what they'll do, though? If Rockstar makes a game with pirates, a, a game where it would be appropriate to have, you know, chests, like pirate booty, you know they're going to sell those things, right? They've. It would be the most monetized game that's ever existed. Yeah, I was I was upset when he kept calling the uh, the macarons uh, crackers, but you know whatever. Real innovation in AAA games is mostly dead because the innovation doesn't work; they lose money. Um, 
you used the word mostly. You qualified your statement, so I agree-ish. But, I mean, I, I think the counterexamples are strong counterexamples. you got to realize you look at something like Ghost of Tsushima, and if things go in that direction and the other studios that may not be traditional AAA games start making games of that quality, uh, it, the, the, the industry could go either way. But I think that people will do the, you know, they like money thing. Dino Crisis or Resident Evil 4? Uh, or? I mean, we're getting Resident Evil 4, so like I already know that that's going to be fun. Oh, yeah, free good. People buy all sorts of stupid shit on the internet. And I mean, I, I stopped being sad about that a long time ago. Where do I want Bioshock 4 to take place in? Are they making a Bioshock 4? Isn't that company dead? Oh my god, you guys are typing a lot now. Bioshock, they're dead. Bioware's dead, right? Like, everyone who originally worked there is dead and they don't make good games anymore, so who the hell's making that game? Yeah, we finished playing. I'm sorry. We're, we're at the, the tail end. Buy Bioshock 4 in space. Yeah, there'll be a moon base or something stupid. Do you think we'll get a sequel, Ghost of Tsushima? They made so much money. They, of course they're working on something else. It doesn't. I mean, I don't know if it's going to be an actual sequel or a spiritual sequel, but they're working on something. When are we playing Demon Souls? Probably once all of the reviews are done. Spider-Man is being worked on now. We filmed all the stuff for Spider-Man. It has to be edited. Valhalla Rapid Fire will be out next week. Call of Duty probably the week after, and then within a week or two, those ones are done. If we're not playing Cyberpunk, we'll get to Demon Souls. Why don't I do a cooking show? Man. Cooking show. So I've already written like 15 episodes of the cooking show if, if I ever do want to teach OJ to cook. It's a lot of work. For every hour of content, I mean, you got to think it's at least three hours of writing, producing, editing. And with cooking, it's even more because you have all the cooking time, too, the filming time. So if I even if I put out something like two episodes a week, that's an extra 10, 15 hours a week of work on top of our already stacked work week. So I don't know. I'd like to. It's my uh, Food is something that I truly, truly love and I'd love to do. It's just we've got other stuff to do. Some cooking videos do really well on YouTube. So it's like you, you've got this uh, confirmation bias because the ones that you know do really well, but there's 10 times the amount of people that you know are putting out. Like there's millions and millions of videos out there with like five views, and they're all from the same guy refreshing his own shit over and over and over again. I do go to the gym, yeah. Just go at your own pace. That That is not at all how <laughs> the internet and comments and like dislikes and all those of this other stuff works. You have to be regular with your content and you don't get anywhere. Uh, Bert, is that the guy who cooked who, the, the shirt off comedian? I think I've seen one of his episodes and he had like two other comedians on cooking and none of them knew what they were doing. And it like, it pained me watching people who don't know what they're doing. Cooking is fine. No issue doing it, especially if they're making me food. I, fuck. If you want to make me bad food? I'll still eat it. I love that. Watching people who don't know what they're doing, act like acting like they would know what they're talking about really drives me crazy. And I can't, I can't do it. So I really like him. I think his comedy is hilarious. I'd probably have to watch more of his stuff before I decided if I liked or didn't like his stuff. Like if they're doing it on purpose, like if they're, they're like, oh, we know what we're doing, but they're just fucking around. I totally get it. Like I understand that. But there's so many people on the internet. They're like, I, re I learned this from an Italian grandma. And then they do everything wrong. It's like, no, you didn't. You're making shit up. Fuck, up. Fuck you. Get off the internet. Yeah, but I'm I'm not interested in doing that Jedi Master. Not at all. That's not how I'd want to do it. And even then, like, I think you uh, don't, uh, you may not be aware of how much work all of the other stuff goes in, goes into it. Cooking stream, I don't typically like cooking streams. 
especially with the things that I like to cook because you get like, I'll chop something and then I'll start sauteing onions. And then what am I supposed to do for the 10 minutes while I saute those onions? Nothing. Just stare at the camera. It's like these onions are sauteing. Then I'll add a little tomato paste. Stir it around a little bit, but not too long, not so it burns. And then I'll add something else. And then I, I simmer for 30 minutes, and I'm just going to sit there and go, all right, we wait 30 minutes. And so, man, I'm not going to do that. I'm not, I don't want to, no, I'm not interested. I like, to, I like edited cooking shows. Is Valhalla worth the buy? I will tell you, I think Valhalla is better than I originally thought. That's all I will tell you. Why are we coughing on Jeffrey Zakarian? What do you do now? <laughs> Players of my Magic 3? I should, yes. Hey, Joe, you want me to play the zombie game? Roxas, thanks for joining. Do you think Fallout New Vegas 2 will happen? Better question is, do you want it to happen? Do you want the people who designed Fallout 4 and Fallout, which I actually kind of like Fallout 4, and Fallout 76 to divine, design New Vegas 2, or do you want Obsidian and, and Bethesda to make up? Yes, yes. Well, Hollow is definitely better than Watch Dogs, definitely. Biscuit dough is pizza crust. No. 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 Pizza crust is defined by having a really high gluten content. Like you don't even use all-purpose flour. You use bread flour for, or even even like higher protein content. Now, biscuit dough is the opposite. You want almost no kneading whatsoever because you want soft and tender. They are not the same type of dough at all. Now, if you make me biscuit dough pizza, I'll eat the fuck out of it. And I love it. But as a rule, if we're talking about, you know, like, no. Unless you make it, and then I'll eat it. Best type of pizza? Depends. I like New York style pizza. I love Chicago and I love Detroit style pizza. They're different. Do I want a pizza slice so big I have to fold it in half and I eat, you know, a shitload of them? Do I want to have to wait an hour but have something that's like really a sausage and tomato casserole on a delicious cornmeal crust? Then I want Chicago. We have really, really, really good Detroit style pizza here in Austin and I think that's probably my go to. Everyone likes pretzels. Of course I like pretzels. Do I ever make biryani for myself? I do. No, I haven't seen Tenet. Gotham Knights. I love the Arkham series, but the last Arkham game I didn't like all that much, and the one, the studio that's working on it is making Gotham Knights, so I, I don't know. Did they learn from their mistakes, or are they making more of the same? So it just depends. What's Detroit-style pizza? It's a slightly thicker, airier dough. Think focaccia, where the cheese goes all the way to the crust and caramelizes around the edges. Some sauce typically drizzles over the top, and it's fucking awesome. It is very, very good. Who made the macaroni art? That was me. Did you like it? I'm going to hang it up on the wall right there. Do I mean Origins by WB? Um, yeah, I don't think I like Origins. Was it Origins? I don't remember. There was a lot of the games, and I don't remember. There was one of them that clearly, it was towards the end, that clearly wasn't as good in my mind, and that's the ones I'm working on, the last one. Excited for the Suicide Squad game? Oh, I can't wait. It's going to be amazing, right? 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 I'm going to hear him rage the entire time while we're playing the game. Do I like turkey for Thanksgiving? Uh, I do. I make amazing turkey. 
Number one trick, don't fuck it up. That's where 90-plus percent of people fail. So I totally get when people are like, I don't like turkey. They probably only had really bad turkey, though. Yeah, I like Rocksteady, but Origins was not made by Rocksteady. I think Origins. I am not doing a horseshoe mustache. No, thank you. Turkey can be amazing, but it can also be absolutely disgusting. Uh, one of the reasons I don't like going to other people's houses for Thanksgiving is because they make dry-ass fucking turkey. And they're like, no, you just put gravy on it. It's like, well, then I'm eating dry turkey covered in gravy. Bland gravy. Why don't people season their goddamn gravy? Origin, yeah, Rocksteady's making the Suicide Squad game. But Gotham Knights is being made by the other one. We are playing Demon Souls. It's gonna happen. You don't you can't rehydrate the bird with turkey. That's not how that works. It doesn't work. You don't get a juicy tire by putting gravy on it. It's still a tire with gravy on it. And maybe good gra good enough gravy where you're gonna eat the tire, but This, the last couple of years, I've done turkey sous vide, and that's, that's what I'm doing again, this one. Man, I didn't watch too much Roy Jones Jr. growing up, but I watched a lot of Tyson fights. And so, like, I, I'm, only, I'm more familiar with Tyson, so I think I'd like to see Tyson win, but I'm, I'm not, it's, I'm not like, Tyson! Watching Mike Tyson uppercut people so hard they forgot the fourth grade was a pleasure as a child. It's just like, man, that guy, he cannot see right now. What are the sides for my turkey? I'm doing sausage and corporate stuffing, uh, sweet potato, mashed sweet potatoes, mashed potatoes, rolls, gravy. I feel like I'm doing something else. I don't know. Two pies. I don't know. Floyd Mayweather, Logan Paul. I think Floyd Mayweather was so good at boxing for points that he killed boxing. He watching him fight was so fucking boring because he was he wasn't boxing for knockouts you know cuz like he he was playing he was playing the game and doing it so perfectly and so well and he was so talented at it that it probably did so much damage to the sport because it was boring as fuck having the champion be boring I think Gordon Ramsay I think he puts out incredible content the guy can cook he's an icon Yeah, he was really boring, really boring. What do I think of Beyond Good and Evil 2? I mean, hopefully they're good, but I don't know. Yeah, he, he looked like he dodged and ran away a lot. Yeah, he, he won a couple hundred million dollars doing it because he racked up more points than anyone else. I do think De La Hoya beat him. I honestly think I watched that fight, and I was like, I do think De La Hoya did beat him. Um Uh, I've had this beard longer than, than he has, I guess. But we don't have the same style of beard. His beard goes down farther and he shapes farther down. So I guess neither of us because we don't have the same type of beard. The weirdest pie I've ever made? Oh, I don't know. I love pie. Excited for McGregor? No. No, no, no. Yes, I would love to collab with Gordon Ramsay, but I don't. He doesn't know who we are or who I am. And like I said, he's a food icon, and I'm a dude who likes to cook. And there's a there's a massive difference between the two. The best PS5 launch title. The, the, what, what, there are no PS5 launch titles. There's like Demon Souls, and that is it. 
And so it's demon souls, but that's it. Of course, I'm a turkey drumstick kind of guy. I don't, I don't have a Twitter, so I don't know anything that Joe tweets. I mean, I know of the stuff he tweets, but I, I don't I have no idea what his cat's tweet is. Did he did like a face swap on cats? Cowboys win tomorrow? Who are they playing? The Washington football team? Probably. They could. What kind of Asian food do I like? All of it. All of it. I don't have a PS5. Or an Xbox Series X. All right, five minutes. Five minute warning. I'm going home at 11:40. I forgot, the, and the music stopped playing. Can I make my own sushi? I have. We have a great seafood market here that sells sashimi grade fish, frozen sashimi grade fish. Um, and I've done it a couple times. Will Washington football team ever get a team, another team name? Yeah, maybe. I need to get caught up on the expanse. You go home, Reverend Bishop. You go home. Any good ramen? We actually have two. We have one really good ramen place and one pretty good ramen place here. What's my football team? Don't have one. Cooking or playing video games for the rest of your life? Would you choose? cooking i could cook and play card games the rest of my life i'm not gonna not i mean food are you kidding food food's my favorite thing <laughs> you know you wanted to uh, group watch it you miss ramen mm -hmm. is this my full-time job i hope so i'm here like 60 hours a week How often do you pick up food versus cooking at home? Depends on the day. On the weekends, I, I do a lot of the cooking. Um, and during the week, it depends on what time I get out of here. I mean, so like, we've been streaming Call of Duty till 12, 1, 2 in the morning. So I'm not cooking at 1, 2 in the morning. Do you slow cook? Uh, yeah, I, I love braising. and I don't use a slow cooker, but like, cooking things slow is probably my favorite method. Smoking braising, that kind of thing. Do I know anything pickling? I make pickles all the time. Pickled cabbage from what culture? I love sauerkraut. I love kimchi. Amazing stuff. I, I don't sleep here, no. Have I tr ever tried Uruguay style noodles? I have. There used to be, in the place I used to live, um, a all-Muslim um, Chinese restaurant. And the food there was awesome. And we used to go there all the time. We have a reverse sear steak? Yeah, all the time. It's my favorite Thanksgiving food. Uh, oh, no. No favorites. No favorites. Can I eat sardines out of a can? I prefer sardines out of a can on a really crunchy piece of, of like grilled French bread rubbed with a little bit of garlic, the sardine on top, drizzle of good olive oil. Not the shitty olive oil, but like good olive oil, a little parsley on the top. That's delicious shit. If I could eat one thing for the life, what would it be? Food. I know I'm not being helpful, but I mean, I don't know. It's a weird. It's a weird hypothetical situation. It's a really weird hypothetical situation. Where do want Elder Scrolls to play take place? Some place where they try. I want them to try. I I it could, they can make it anywhere that they want, but the is there a difference between anchovies and sardines? Yes. Um, sardines are a much larger class of fish. 
anchovies are much smaller, typically packed in salt, sometimes olive oil. Think of anchovies as umami bombs that are very salty. They're like salty eyebrows. They look like salty eyebrows, actually. Um, sardines you actually can eat as a fish. Um, and anchovies typically mel are melted into things. Uh, I haven't played Grounded. I tried to play it once, and that game uh, wouldn't let me play it, so fuck that game. Have I enjoyed reading the, the comments in your rapid fires? People are... I, I read some of the YouTube comments. I really do. Um, and then I usually ignore them because then people are crazy. People on the internet with their commenting are crazy. What's my favorite fish, though? I don't have a favorite fish. No, no more games tonight. I'm about to go home. The best way to have anchovies and pizza is you actually melt the anchovies in the tomato sauce, which is actually really classic Italian cooking. Joe was having dinner with his girlfriend, so that's probably what you're hearing. If you can hear, if you can melt fish, you can. Anchovies are are cured, and so if you Let's say you're making a tomato sauce. You start with uh, one medium onion, uh, small dice, minced if you can. Drizzle of olive oil. You put the onions in the pan, sprinkle of salt. And you, you cook them medium heat for about 8 to 10 minutes. You really want them to soften up. like you re Not brown, but you want to soften them up. Once you get to that point, you add a pinch of red pepper flakes, a couple anchovy fillets, two tablespoons of, of tomato paste, and you stir and stir and stir and stir until everything kind of breaks up. Then you add a whole can of good tomatoes. People like Sam I don't, I don't give a shit, tomatoes. And then you simmer that for hours and hours and hours, and you'll have some of the best tomato sauces you'll ever have. Why, why aren't I a chef? I used to be. League of Legends Ruterra. No, thank you. I like League of Legends. I think some of the lore is cool. And I love card games. But if I'm going to play a card game online, I'll probably play Magic. I like uh, I like Magic. I've been playing a long time. What? Uh, it's, it's typically a shitty job. I mean, you, you can love doing it, but, you know. No, I don't want to play Artifact. I love cooking. And when you make something that you truly love, and I don't mean like like really love your job, it can suck, especially when you're starting out. You work for some old dude who drinks scotch uh, and smokes five packs of cigarettes a day, and he's like, there's not enough salt. And you're like, okay, well, there's enough salt. He's like, there's not enough salt. And you sprinkle some more salt, and everything gets sent back because everything's too salty. Um, so... I've been a private chef. I did some catering. I've done a lot of all sorts of things. I really, I mean, I love it. I love that I've learned to cook. And I've learned from a lot of people, but. I like the original T Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle movies. I like them. I even like the third one. And it's bad, but I still like it. Have you done so many things? Uh... When you are forced to work early in your life and then at times work multiple jobs, you get to do a lot of things. And it's good because I've, I've learned a ton of different things. And it's it works out. Jurassic Park 3? What the fuck? Uh, oh, that one was bad. Yeah, if you like that I don't like that one. But if you like that one, I understand. Acknowledging something is bad but liking it anyway is fine. And it's way – it's preferable than someone going, no, it's actually good. Well, it's not, but – do I ever plan on having kids? I don't need kids. I got a Rufus. What superpower would I like to have? Hmm. I don't know. Don't know. I haven't decided. I'll let you know when I think about it. I never saw Cars 1, so I don't know if Cars 2 is underrated. Why are there sidewalks in the Cars movies? Explain that to me. How to meet AJ through board games. Except if it's Snyder Cut, no. Cars 
Scar's wiped humanity? What are you talking about? What's your advice you have for someone who wants to learn to cook from someone who sucks at teaching to cook? What? Not bad at cooking, but it sucks teaching it. You have them watch and take notes, I guess. Um, look, some people are just not teachers and they don't have the patience and – I don't know. I mean, if you're at a if you're in a position where you know you've got a someone is a bad teacher, then you're kind of in a you know you've you picked the wrong person. But there's everything everything you ever need is on YouTube. So, Cyberpunk should be fine. I'm excited for it. I'm not crazy where people are like it's gonna change the fucking world, but I want it to be good. Are you saying that the original Mr. Miyagi was a bad teacher? Why what? I never watched Cobra Kai. I should, but I haven't watched it yet. Do I feel an awkward vibe when first spending a lot of time? Um, no. No, not really. Top three Stephen King adaptations. Shawshank Redemption. Um, misery. Um, man, they fuck up his movies. They fuck up the movies with him a lot. Doctor Sleep could have been great. Doctor Sleep was really good. It was like one scene away from being really great. I really wanted to see the ending of that movie expanded on a lot. The TV version was it was pretty good. The Shining they fucked up really bad, Re like really bad, really bad, really bad. He hate he hated The Shining. I think it, I think it was good, but he hated it. Do I have a favorite director? No. What if his Jurassic Park was real? No. I would watch the YouTube video in 4K and probably you know it'd be fine. It'd be way cheaper. Stand by Me is good. Yeah. Thinking of eating an Arkham game, but which one? Asylum. Arkham City was pretty good, too. Stephen King has weak endings to his books. Uh, yeah, I mean, a mountain of cocaine will make things kind of weird to write sometimes. I don't think the new It movies are good movies. And I know a lot of people don't agree with me, and I've people have yelled at me on the internet about it all the time. I think that the first one is pretty good. I think the second one is not very good, and I don't I don't think that they're very good. I I think no, don't I I I, I got in trouble on the internet because I didn't like the first it movie as much as everyone else did. I don't make videos outside of AGS. So all of the stuff is here. Is Saving Private Ryan the best war film ever? Uh, there's a lot of really good war films. I think it's got to be up there. It's probably one of the best World War II. Hey, Joe, you want to play a zombie game? No, no zombie games. But thanks for subbing. Really appreciate that. Still haven't seen the It remakes. You can watch the first one. I would recommend staying away from the second one. What, 1917? 1917 is pretty good. 1917 is really good. You should see 1917. I think it was one of those movies that there had been the kind of a lull for a while, so people kind of crazy overhyped it, and they like built it up as this like it's gonna change the world. It was really good, and you should watch it. But I don't know if it's you know all the things that people describe it as. I've seen all the Studio Ghibli classics. Yeah, Band of Brothers is amazing, but it's not a movie, so it doesn't count. 
But yes, Band of Brothers is fucking awesome. I think Band of Brothers is one of my favorite TV series ever. Yes, I like Hacksaw Ridge. It's very good. I never saw Fury. It true tried to be funny. It one tried to be funny. Have you watched the first it? The, I mean, the first of the remakes of It, that movie tried to be funny. They tried to be endearing and, like, coming of age and then horror and then funny and then coming of age and then endearing, and it had no flow. The flow of the first It movie was all over the fucking place. Will we revisit Witcher 3? No. Maybe. Not up to me. I would say no. Joe may say yes, and he is the boss, and so it's up to him, not me. I played so much Witcher 3, I don't need to revisit it. I am fine looking back on that game with two sets of rose-tinted glasses and going, man, I love this game, and I don't need anything to, to mar that. So... Blackadder is a great, great TV show. Some of the controls in Witcher 3 are gone awful. Mm -hmm. You're not the only one who thought it wasn't that good. I mean, lots of people don't like lots of things. This isn't the the place for it. But typically when you when you like you have to be extra as someone who likes to shit on things, you have to be really specific and provide sources <laughs> and examples when you don't like game. something. Otherwise, people are just going to hate on you forever. Vans me out. Vans me out. Thanks for gifted subs. Really appreciate it. That's nice. With your super good memory, do you own at GoFish? I do. I do. Um, uh, that's one of the one of the uh, the reasons that I'm I'm pretty damn good at the card games and the other games we play is, um, just I remember. Did I hear that Alpha Melina might be coming back to reprise his role as Dr. Octopus in Spider-Man 3? That'd be cool. I mean, is, is Sony still going to be in charge of that shit? Because I'm not, not, I'm less excited about that. You think Breath of the Wild is overrated? Okay. You are allowed to. It's pretty, pretty highly rated. And so, I think it's great. But, you don't have to. Yeah, so open world games don't often do it well. If they're not exciting enough to keep you engaged, then the it being open world also just means it's kind of it's not as defined and not streamlined and you got all this excess shit. But if it's open world and there's interesting things to do all over the place, it doesn't feel that way. So it's making your game be open world is actually a gamble. Well, I haven't reacted to the new Cyberpunk trailers. Uh, there, I why, for for what we've seen all this stuff. The, the cyberpunk has been announced. You know how much cyberpunk content we've already put out since it was announced, how, however many years ago. And then we're probably going to do multiple videos once the game comes out. Like, and then we've already done reveal trailers and all these other things. It doesn't always fit into the week, and then it's. I don't know. OJ had to go to the store. Immortals Phoenix Rising. I used to. I was really excited for Immortals Phoenix Rising. It could be good. We wrapping things up. Shit. Yes. Do I like reading? I love reading. Books are amazing. They are a gift. Read them. As many as you can. Good ones. How long have I known Joe? Uh, five years, I think. What will win game of the year? Probably The Last of Us. Mm. 
Nope. Gods and Monsters got sued. Can't even mention that name. Monster Energy Drink will come out after you. What's my game of the year? Uh, I don't know. You're going to make me think about and rate these games. Doom Eternal was crisp as fuck. Game was good. The gameplay was, you know, stellar. Ghost of Tsushima, excellent gameplay. Story was pretty good. There were some really dumb parts of the story of Ghost of Tsushima, but man, they did a really good job, so that probably deserves to win game of the year. Hades is good. All those games are good. Oh, I don't know about Final I haven't decided how I feel about Final Fantasy VII yet. I'll need to play the rest of them. It's like judging a... Uh, you don't judge an entire series based on the pilot. And Final Fantasy VII that we've played so far is just the pilot. That game could turn out garbage. And I could end up hating this game based on what they do in the next game. So it doesn't even get added. Shouldn't Cyberpunk get a list? No, that's not how the Game Awards uh, works. They don't do it based on calendar year. Ooh, I broke the monitor. Do I agree with Joe's opinion on the Star Wars? Joe and I don't agree on almost anything. What are you talking about? I think Squadrons was an excellent game. And it was a good game, and it was definitely worth $40. Do I think it's a 10 out of 10 on VR? I think it's a good game. And if you like Star Wars and, and that kind of that kind of game, you should definitely buy and support them. Is Sony greedy or strategically smart with their exclusives? Yes. Any movie reviews coming soon? No. Game reviews. All games, all the time. What time is it over here? 11.56. I was supposed to leave 20 minutes ago. COD or Halo? Oh, man, you're talking about franchises that have once been good and are not good right now. CODs, Black Ops is not very good. I'm hoping Halo is better. It's a 10 out of 10 game for you. Oh, you feel like I, I never give anything a 10. I give all sorts of things a 10. All sorts of things. I've given a bunch of movies 10s. Games? Heroes of My Magic 3 is a 10. 10. Goldeneye. Probably not a 10. That game is important, but it's not a 10. I played Chrono Trigger originally on the SNES and then on the Game Boy Advance. Chrono Trigger is 10. Final Fantasy 7, 10. Halo multiplayer over COD. Mm, Halo is real floaty. And slow. COD's a little more fast-paced. The gunplay in COD's garbage. Proning, sliding, bunny hopping, all with perfect aim, garbage. That is, I mean, it's fun garbage, but, you know, it's like garbage in the sense that, like, Doritos are garbage. But I'll eat the fuck out of some Doritos. And I do play a lot of COD, but, man, it is not good. That gunplay's terrible. No, we, none of us play World of Warcraft. I'm, I, I won't play MMOs anymore. I used to play a lot of them. I won't play them anymore. It's my favorite game genre. Mm -hmm. Either first-person shooters or strategy games or RPGs. I don't know. One of the three. What game companies being the most consistent in making good games? No, none of them. They all put out shitty games. And they should. Um, they should be trying new things. And like a, ga a game company putting out like a weird thing that doesn't quite work is a sign of a game company trying new things, and that's nice. Trying to advance games where they're not just doing, hey, we're doing Mass Effect Remastered because we have no more ideas. <sighs> Rockstar? Yeah. Yeah, I can see Rockstar. They're, they're pretty consistent. Rank the Silent Hill original games. No. I like them. Favorite Total War game? Rome. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, Rome. I too want a Dead Space game. I 
I don't know if I want any more games to be made. You know, I want games to be made, but like any specific game to be made. Death Stranding, boring or a gem? Boring. For me, it was boring. It is a, an interesting story that probably would have been better as like a five-part miniseries on Netflix, but I don't think it made for an interesting time for a video game. And I think that it depends on your lifestyle. If you have a bunch of shit to do at all times, then I don't think Death Stranding fits in your life. If you have a long weekend and want to meander and mosey, then it can be great, but it just didn't fit for me. I do like DBZ. I mean, I watched it years and years and like fucking years ago, but. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ever played the Gamecast? I wish. I wish I could have afforded the Gamecast. Favorite DBZ game? Oh, man, I didn't play it. I, I don't think I've ever liked a, a DBZ game. I played some of the DBZ fighting games before. Dragon Ball Fighter Z is the best DBZ-themed game, but I don't consider it a DBZ game. It's just it's a fighting game that they put the characters in. Like, there's no... It's I don't think... I, yes, it's technically a DBZ game, but... if you're, I want, like, a DBZ RPG-style game. Ketchup is disgusting. Worst condiment. Interesting. My first console was the Nintendo Entertainment System. What do I think of Maximilian Dude? I don't watch a lot of Maximilian Dude's stuff. Uh, I did watch some of his Final Fantasy VII stuff, and wow, was he up his own ass in some of the things that he did there. He was talking about, like, five levels of Final Fantasy VII Enlightenment, and as someone who, like, I fucking love Final Fantasy VII, and I want to like wanted that game to be deeper than it was, was he just making shit up to make that game better than it was? Holy shit. Some of the I mean, look, it was a long video, and some of the stuff that he said was, was really cool, but some of the other stuff is just like, no. Do I have my own stream perspective, like beyond this? What do you mean? I've answered a lot of these questions already. It's not that I'm ignoring you. It's just I've already answered a lot of these. But it, oh Jesus Christ, I need, to go, I need to go to bed. Oh, I should stream too? I am, like right now. What am I playing on my own time? I'm going to play a lot of League of Legends this weekend. I'm going to play some Assassin's Creed Valhalla and finish the game for the review. Um, that's probably it. That's probably it. Do I like the character Kakarot? Like what? Do you, what do you mean? You mean the the RPG, the low effort RPG they put out earlier this year? No, it was a low effort RPG. What is fun about League? Nothing. Nothing is fun. League of Legends is not fun. It is a game where you try to be better than other people with four random strangers, all cursing you out all the time. It's nothing about League is fun, but. I'm I'm pretty good, and so I like playing. Also, I get to learn real fun things to call other people. I am hard stuck platinum. I'm gonna try to get diamond again this year, but I said that last year and I didn't. I'm still stuck in platinum. Do we? I, I've never eaten pizza with. A, I've eaten Chicago style pizza with a fork, and that's it. So I always eat pizza with my hands. Will Assassin's Creed ever be good as it used? We got the best Assassin's Creed game that we probably ever got this year. The problem is it was called Ghost of Tsushima. So, yes. Play Ghost of Tsushima. It was the best Assassin's Creed game ever. Yes, it was. I think Ghost of Tsushima is better than Black Flag. So, yes, it will be as good. As good. Do people still talk shit in casual? Yeah, of course they do. Is cereal soup? OJ said it is, so it is. Which is better, Bloodborne, Secure, or Dark Souls? Bloodborne. Do I play Rocket League? I have. I don't. Consistently. Thought I was leaving. I thought I was leaving too. When is my birthday? I will tell you that the same day I tell you my social. I'm not telling you. 
Do I like the new League update? No. I think the people designing for and balancing League of Legends are some of the dumbest fuckers on earth. They make characters... So, they're so terrible. Like, they, they design interesting things, but they don't balance anything. And all the new characters are fucked up. Like, there is no reason that the characters they design should be as fucked up as they are. The new items are fucking terrible. They're like, we want everyone to feel powerful, so no one is powerful. And everyone is so fucking overpowered, but then they still over-design some of the new characters. So, like, Amumu is fucked right now. Are you kidding me? Do you ever butt-chug a beer? I've never butt-chugged anything. That sounds weird. I don't know. Which is why Dota 2 is a million times better than League. I think you are delusional. Dota is also fucked. All of them are fucked. Dota is probably better than League. But a million times better? Get the fuck out of here. It's 1.1 times better. Do I believe in a thing called love? I love the darkness, man. That song is great. Smite is way better? Smite. I liked Smite when I played it. Smite is better monetization, too. Why is League so addictive? Uh, it's random. You should look up something called the Skinner Box Experiment. It's pretty much like that. It's a random chance over and over and over and over again. And then when you win, you win big. And the feeling is so good, you ignore all of the other bad shit that happens. It's a cool experiment with rats. More rats. That's what it is. Have I watched Avatar Last Air Bitter? I did. Loved it. I watched it a long time ago. No, nah, each league game is 20 to 30 minutes long on average. I never saw the live action Last Airbender. It looked terrible. I just recently watched Legend of Korra. I didn't like I mean, then a follow-up question is did you like it? Yes, I liked it, but I didn't like it as much as Avatar. I think the writers did a little bit of disservice with Korra because so much of the the plot was driven by her mistakes. And that's a rough place to put a character because you can make certain people not like the character. And so it's like, oh, Korra made a mistake and that drives the plot. And Korra made this mistake and then it drives the plot. It's like, well, I'm liking Korra less because she's the cause of all of her own problems. And that's a rough place to put a character. So I think it's a harder show to like than Avatar, which didn't have as much of the problem. I've never watched Degrassi. Yes, I want Blood... Well, yeah, I want Blood War 2. Anthem or Evolve? Jesus Christ, no. No. All right, no more questions. I am done. Thank you all for joining me. It was fun. Um, I don't know when we'll be back. Monday. There's a Q&A on Monday. Hey, guess what? The next time you're going to see me will be Monday... No... Friday, fuck. Friday, we're doing the Mandalorian review. Um, and then that'll be posted probably Friday night. But you won't see... I mean, you'll see me in the review, but I won't be streaming. Um, Monday, on YouTube, we're doing the monthly Q&A where you can ask me all these questions again. Again. Um, so join us for that. Uh, yeah, that's it. Bye.